pal. Here we go, back with more Alien Noir, but it's technically the first Alien Noir. Yeah, so welcome. We're, we're out as crab. Hi, everybody. Uh, just a really long story here. We've played, like, half of Alien Noir, <laughs> and every single possible thing has gone wrong, so we're not replaying the first half of Alien Noir, sorry. Yeah, so... We recorded about a fourth of the game in a really long play session, and then Brett accidentally deleted the footage, and then we played another fourth just a little while ago, like a week ago, Yeah. and Brett checked the footage, and the mic wasn't recording the whole time. Straight up. So, we're just going to continue from here. <laughs> yeah, so wait, uh, was I don't remember this uh, save game thing actually being here. I, I uh, presume the green one is where you're supposed to resume because that's the option I selected on the menu. Yeah, I think I think it is arson because we had just gotten a promotion. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so from what we could tell, the game is split into like an act structure thing mm -hmm. where you every time you get promoted is the end of an act, I guess, because you can see all these ones were traffic, 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 and then... Uh, Arson is where we pick up next. I don't know oh. what the deal is with these being out of order. That's weird. Actually, you remember we got this save game from some, like, random website. So yeah. I wonder if we should just start, like, check the cases and see which one we need to start oh, with. Oh, maybe. We that might be prudent. Just in case, prudent. like, maybe some of these save games belong to the other guy. Uh, well, they said 2018. There was, they were, like... Dated. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> People will be able to tell when we when we failed, when I failed horribly to uh, salvage your playthrough. <laughs> yeah, see. So so I'm just gonna click the green one. That seems right. Oh boy. Time to hang out with uh, super bigot, whatever that guy, his name was. What Stefan? No, no, Stefan was a minor bigot. <laughs> oh, I guess we we just have some new partner. Yeah, yes. I think we changed partner again. Go ahead, KGPL. Robin K, you see the man? A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. The A's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect up which case we're supposed in the to after the tunnel system with a hostage. 11 K and Roger we'll that. Three. The hell is Jack playing at? Like a suicide note. Wait, what? Oh, oh this doesn't seem right. Yeah, this, uh... See, that's why I'm checking, because I was... I don't know if that's... Who's Jack? Yeah, oh, maybe, maybe quit. Uh, so I think the last one we did was the Fallen Idol, because that's the one when the woman, uh... got driven off. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Uh, interestingly, that's also the name of a 1948 noir film. Oh, cool. So I wonder if a lot of these are noir film references. Probably. Okay, I'm looking this up. The Fallen Idol was a oh. traffic case, and then the next one is the Red Lipstick Murder. Yeah, here. See, the yeah. Fallen Idol's there, and then... So we did click the wrong one. Yeah, that's so weird that they would that they would have, like, a green highlighted resume thing that just sends you to the wrong mission. Yeah, the Red Lipstick Murder is the next one. Here we go! I'm glad I checked. Yeah, me too. That would have been awful if we'd <laughs> gotten the game spoiled. Oh, in me near res. Ooh. <laughs> it must be. Boy, what a noir title. What a Sherlock Holmes story. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Is Sherlock Holmes noir? No. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, it's mystery. Yeah. Noir and mystery are... They, they, they're a Venn diagram. Yeah. Not the same thing. Hey, look, it's the same case we just solved. Not really. Oh, oh. oh. That's a little awkward looking. <laughs> yeah, that's a little silly. <laughs> but I, were those alpha effects on the blood? <laughs> it kind of looked like... That looked like a, um, an Ace Attorney case setup. Floyd of Rosedale. We will all miss Floyd and go, go, Chris. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst. A man gets from 25 years of police work. <laughs> mighty thirst. 
Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Burglary? Take a chair. Mm, sure. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, fine lawman of the York. I guess the last two you on the mm. desks were both, like, theft-related. Yes. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and burning all the signs of the werewolf. <gasps> Wait, Get what? out to the scene, lads. Must be a serial killer. All the signs of the werewolf? Um, Good God. I feel like we're missing stuff again. Like, yeah. we should know who the werewolf is. But, uh, let me just, let me just be sure. I can cut any of this. Well, hold on. I'm going to look back at the... Here, way. here, here. Okay. No, don't cut anything. They need to know how bubbling we are. Uh, the Fallen Idol... Um, it says explicitly in the in the guide that the red lipstick murder is next. I'm just making sure. That, yeah, that definitely was the one we did, and then the next case. That's so weird. The next case is the fall and I. Oh, you know what else? The red lipstick murder. You know what else is weird? What? Um, the fact that even though we got that 100% completed uh, save file, uh. I guess it overwrites that with your most recent solving of the case because this was originally a five star. Oh, and we we messed it up, so it went down. We to a ruined four star. it. Weird, weird, weird. Anyway, uh, boy, this 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 is another weird, confusing in media res situation. But I guess let's go find out what the werewolf is. Yeah, I guess we're, we're just supposed to. <gasps> Just supposed to assume that he's somebody we should know about. No, I... Okay. Oh, do you wonder... We're, we're, I wonder if he's one of those newspaper guys. Like how we were learning about that one character, the Doctor? Maybe. Uh, I... Watch this again, and look at the shot where he's beating her with the wrench. It's a full moon. Oh, yeah. Was that a wrench? I thought it was like a tire iron. Oh, uh, you probably did. Yeah, see? He's the werewolf. And he's got a weird hat. He's an American werewolf and Where are we, LA? Land oh, of course we are! <laughs> <laughs> he's got this before, San Francisco <laughs> Noir. It sucks that London and LA Noir have just enough letters in common to almost make that joke work, but not enough. <laughs> Never quite work. Never quite works. <laughs> I, uh, I'd like to see a sequel to this game in London. Wouldn't oh, be, yeah. That'd be good. Oh, man. Rockstar can have some fun with that. I'm pretty sure they've had GTA games in London. What? I want to say, like, GTA 2 was in London? No You're in the major leagues now. I'm pretty sure. Or, like, a, a DLC or a spinoff or something. Oh, maybe I could see that. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night at yeah, Burning Grand Theft Auto, London, 1969, is a DLC for Grand Theft Auto 1. Huh. Weird. I didn't know there was DLC for a game that old. Yep. Well, it wasn't okay. DLC, it was a, a mission pack that you bought on another disc. So, we are now investigating a murder. Uh, you have there's the been a murder. Been all over KGPL. Stop Temple. Belmont, Belmont, Belmont werewolves. Well, soap, you know. Something's not right here. I only remember Glendale because that's where the Game Grumps lived, I think. Oh. <laughs> Obviously a reference. Uh, you drive. Hey, um, I really want to watch Devil Man. Yeah, me too. Job. I heard it was animated in 60 FPS. What the heck? Does that leave you, Galloway? Freaking they leave anime sad. alone, Richard Williams. Yeah. I wasn't I completely sold on it, even though I'd heard lots of great things. I was like, I don't know. I'll put it on the back burner. And then, and then I was I told... Don't believe that. I actually yeah, and then I was told by... I think it was Ursatz. Like, somebody who would know. He was like, I've heard that it's 60 FPS animation. No, it might be animated on one, but I don't think anyone has 60 FPS Yeah, I don't know either. Especially for a series. Not a movie. Yeah. With a big budget. I just had a murder with the mask. 
Some guy gets into a beef with his wife. Yeah, I'm not too sure myself, but that's what I heard, say. and I was like, but I gotta watch it to check out. Leaving them off the sidewalk. It's a one off. Hmm. So many women this year. After the war. Well, no, I was gonna say the war. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lift from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? Hmm. It's that simple. I was gonna I say, it's that simple. Most of the time, it is. Well, thanks for taking us under your wing. This new guy seems a little less flavorful so far. Yeah. He's not got that sass. Yeah. I missed a flan. <laughs> How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? You have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this fool? <laughs> Respect God. women. <laughs> nice one, Phelps. If she's dead, she's a boss. Oh God. A war hero, defending the honor of murdered humps. Oh wow. At least he didn't call her a broad. Guys, you got your pictures. You got your headlines. Humps. He is better than broads. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm only joking. Yeah. Um. Dun dun dun. Oh, Here's yikes. The... Wow. Ah. Hey, straight nudity. I can't wait yeah. to censor this. Oh, boy, fun. Okay, whoa. It appears the victim Ugh. was full of blood. Wow, this is this is lagging. Uh, let me see about... No, what that the heck? That looks worse. Be... Yeah. Yes, sir. What part of it? That looks better. It's part here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble. Lover's but... rock. Nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Morbs. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Oh, okay. Boy, gotta get back into the detective mindset. Is it looking, looking a little... Is the frame rate good, you think? Uh, it looks about as good as it's gonna get. Yeah. Okay. Um, th th this is further information that, that no one would know because it got deleted. But uh, we found a third party software thing that lets you uh, boost the frame rate a little bit in this game. Yeah. It makes the facial animations look a little wonky, but, but it, I, don't, I don't mind it, really. It improves the playability. Mm hmm. It appears the victim had hair. Victim's back. Aha! A battery. <laughs> is this a? Is this a, <laughs> it's lipstick? Yeah. Looks brand new. Can't be the one you think about. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Can't be the one she. What? What? what is, Not the one on the body. Can't be the one used on the like, body. Yeah. Weird. Brand new. A brand new sniper round. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's the, the only interesting thing in there, I guess. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Groundbreaking stepping animation technology. Oh, wow. Oh. Glad I was mashing A. I didn't see Put that. Put your hands all over the good. blood part. Yeah. No, wait. Is this a golf club? Uh, nothing significant. What do you mean? Why is there a go This isn't... They called it the Moors. It's not the golf club, right? Uh... No, it's not. Weird. Why do you see nothing significant? Probably just not the murder weapon. Puzzle or parlor game. Okay. What? Uh, uh. Oh, soul. Oh, the... Jesus. Make a map of the okay. world. Oh. Uh, I am doing that. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wait. Uh, Beautiful. It won't let me go down one. Oh, oh, dang it. You gotta slide everything one to the right. Perfect. Cool. Nice job. Nice. You passed you out. What? <laughs> Why steal a table lighter? What, what a weird table lighter. Okay. Hey, it's exhibit B for Bomba. Um, nothing over here. The B stands for Bomb, get down! Now, what's this footprint? Is this. Oh. I guess all of these footprints Suspect are... Suspect was wearing shoe shoes. Then size eggs. Tinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Uh-huh. 
okay. Okay. Size 8 seems pretty small. Yeah. So the werewolf is just a wee man. Has the scene been secured? The trauma and Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Yeah, we saw that. Okay, well, let's All investigate the, the body. Could Goodness me. Badly, badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. Stomped? I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. Oh! What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Okay. Yoink. Silver, perhaps? <laughs> Examine the breasts, Phelps. Um, Cole. Examine the breasts. N nothing here, I guess. Oh, oh, wow. They were a little kids. <laughs> Ow, yikes. Blood force trauma. Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. It was a lug wrench. I'll have more details. It was a baseball bat. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Is that a banana peel? Uh, <laughs> her hair. Yeah, no, it's just a joke. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah. I can't rotate the camera at all. I'm also, hanging from the ceiling so I can read this more easily. What? 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 Wow, the, why did the texture filtering look bad? Uh, it's the trees, the tr the shadows. Yeah, I was about trees. to say it's the it's the trees. I don't think I can investigate anything else. Poor, poor lady. Examine the, the breasts. On the BD, like Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the chemist trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the uh, lava? Okay. I could die of thirst in a case like this. <laughs> wow. Someone is jaded. <laughs> Maybe the real. Well, look at him go. Is... Look at him go. Oh. Yeah. Oh! Nice. Love it. <laughs> I like this new partner. <laughs> he's got. He's got. Skills. He's got spunk. Yeah, he's, he's he, still there. He's still there. He's spry for an old man. <laughs> Look at him go. Such balance, too. Let's see, guess we're, we're going... Exactly is we this going? the only place... I feel like we might have missed some clues. There's... I, don't, don't you feel like there's something else? He's just walking to the car and he's taking the whole, like, cordon with him. <laughs> it's like that drill tweet about how he forgets to unbuckle his seat when he gets off the plane. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna just do one more last, one last. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, yeah, Ooh. okay. Talk about spry. Um. Oh! Hey, nice hey. catch. You were right. Maybe this is gonna help us. Oh, okay. It, I mean, you think it's just garbage? What about, what about that toy car? Is that what it is? I don't know. It's matches. Nope. nope. Wow. Okay, why? Uh, Seems like a weird place to put, like, a red herring evidence. Under a park bench? I mean, those things could have fallen out of somebody's park, uh, pocket. Uh, yeah, true. That's a good point. Love just mache. Mmm. Half a bag of munchies. I am pretty hungry. Woohoo! I love bushes. <laughs> the killer could be hiding in any one of these bushes. <laughs> it's an ambush. A wood chip. Probably not. Half a cookie. <laughs> it's a half a cookie. Seriously, wow. <laughs> Chocolate uh, uh, chip. Uh, what's this box? It's nothing. I'm standing on it though. All right. Chocolate chip. All right. A cookie think, of a killer. I think we're good. Oatmeal. Right. The killer's been You're behind the wheel. Bye. Oatmeal raisin. Sick bastard. <laughs> Killing women, I can understand. Oatmeal raisin, you bastard. I <laughs> like that cop walking. Werewolf? Yeah. My money? Cop. Never cat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. Okay. The plot thickens. You had to hang on your wall. All of a decade. We've been working evidence in BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Dang, he is cutting those close. What's more yeah. Work? Every time I'm like, is he going to trade paint with those things? <laughs> I think it's the thing jacked up car physics. Yeah. Why not power over the police department as well? We finished those. Our 
guy opens his mouth again after six months of shooting. Or some opportunity to read the wow. BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner of the Daily News might have been coming up with a moniker for the There's a oh, reason yeah. we didn't get the son of a get bitch that. I'm not even ashamed. They should know we're yeah. drinking smoothies. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand. What? You think he killed himself? San Quentin. I think he's just spec like doing yeah, a joke speculation. So Phillips, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't. You stay <laughs> I think the werewolf is Cross country. to operate in the Los Angeles area. No chance. We would have found him. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, BD. Brown Derby. Oh. Huh. Coincidence? Hmm. Thinking emoji. <laughs> the loading screen was the greatest clue of all. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, this is hard to watch. Why Why is it the area? That's, is there just too much loaded in? Yeah, I think it's loading stuff. Get inside before the world melts. <laughs> yeah. Ah, much better. Uh, Gentlemen, I guess. what can I get you? Clues. Clubs Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last well night? Put. Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I We've never served a night before. I fell in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? How did we not <laughs> find her yes. name at the crime scene? Do you know anything about her? I don't. But she the had a purse. Paul serves some nice ladies. Would you like to see it? was full of I lipstick would. and other crap. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? We can't miss it. Hmm. Is there anything else? Okay. That's, That's really a specific. Is a Hawaiian? Why are we, Phelps? McCall. McCall McPhelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was complaining about being parched. I like that. Um, so. You do the crap. Selena Henry. That's her. Celine Dion. Murder suspect. The mystery man. Infinite question marks. McColl. Bob Mc a club owner and proprietor. Suspect seen with victim and ring stolen from victim. Hold on, what? Where did we get that information? House uh, office. Well, we knew a ring was stolen. Yeah, but why was that attributed to McColl? Oh, we might just ask him, like, hey, do you have that ring? Uh, maybe. <coughs> um... Do you know anything about Celine Henry? I don't, but the owner, Mr. McColl, serves her most nights. Well, would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club, wears a hibiscus. You can't miss him. <sighs> Nothing about the ring. That's a that's weird. Yeah, I imagine we'll just ask him, like, hey, do you have that ring on you? Size 8 shoe size. Oh, yeah. Is he a small man? A little tiny boy. Look at all these nice people. Let's talk to him. Hey, guys. Nice overalls. Where's that goddamn plate? There he is. Oh, wow. <laughs> Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? John Henry? Wait, what, John Noble? No, no, no. No. That's not him. It, sure, oh, know. she and It's I the know. hair, I think, that, that tricked me we go on a glance. I guess, yeah. Sure, she's a We have yet to see Selena's. John Noble. Yeah, you're right. Was a lovely woman. Okay, I guess I'm investigating him now. Let me review the log again. Uh, uh, investigating murder, Celine Henry. Oh Christ, sure I know her. She and I, she and I and Jacob, her husband. We go way back. Mm -hmm. Okay, new person of interest, Jacob Henry. Yeah. Um. So let's see. I'd start with the first one. Yeah. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. And she attracted attention? Well, certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. One guy in particular. Uh, that seems true. He delivered that very truthfully, and this doesn't seem like a, like a lying kind of... Yeah, I'd say go with it. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? 
Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Wow. At around 11? Didn't she die around midnight? Uh, after midnight, I think he said. Right. I think this could be a great help, sir. To Thank be. You. Wow. That's super helpful. I can't believe yeah. that. Why? I get, did he just write this down, or did he have? He just happened to have that? I think he wrote it down, like, maybe thinking, oh, who is this guy? I would ask about the husband first, because the ring thing sounds like it could lead to an accusation of some sort. Yeah. That might make him upset. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. Hey. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. What? Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Uh, that seems like a doubt. Uh, he's, he, yeah, see, he's yeah. swallowing, he's looking down, he's not yeah, making yeah. eye contact. That's a different animation than last time, I doubt that. Um, so if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. Huh. She picked hmm. some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Uh, good to know. Okay. And then the ring. Huh. This is a good investigation so yeah, far. Yeah, it is. I feel like we're doing all the right stuff. Um, now, wh he, said, he said that Jacob put up with a load of crap? Yeah. What did he mean by that? I thought he said that Celine was great. That she was a lovely woman. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring. Ah! On the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Flying days? Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, hmm. it was before. Uh, uh, oh, look at this face. Yeah. Uh, what what evidence do we have that could possibly disprove this? Husband's alibi. Oh, Nicole's account is the husband's alibi for when we meet the husband. Yeah, I think this is a doubt, and I imagine he actually bought it for her or something. <laughs> oh, maybe. Let's see. Ooh. Oh. The, the I didn't realize the lipstick markings said exactly that. I thought it was just the letters BD on their own. Uh, oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. No, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, gotta love that default Android alarm sound. It's a nice one. Um, anyway. Yeah, I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking this is a doubt. I don't know if we have any real evidence. Um... Yeah, mark somebody. I mean, that's pretty much exactly what we just told him. Um, yeah, appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. That's pretty much exactly the same thing as this. Uh, oh, this? No, that does, that's not no. relevant. That's not immediately relevant to the to the. Ring. I think the only use for that is to lead us here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, it would be weird. It is still weird that she stole it, though. Yeah, a little bit. Size so issue for Prince, not McColl's, presumably. Writing on body, missing jewelry, blunt force trauma, license plate. I think we're. I'm just. Gonna I, doubt. I doubt it. Yeah. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna. Okay. Yeah, I was totally right. Yeah, nailed it. I carried a torch for Selena in those days. Yes, I always have. What is, well, he keeps using a lot of slang I'm not totally understanding. He, he had a, a thing for Selene. Oh, okay. One more saying. thing. Okay. Would you have an address for Selene? He has been a big help. 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. So she's a big drinker. Yeah. Well, she was a small one. What a big one. Um, he said she was larger than life. Oh, that's true. Wow, that was a really good investigation. Yeah, there. hey, bud. Let's get out of here. 
Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm That's up. That's TMI, nicely. dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do it. <laughs> Slip and slide right into that door. Boy, the fairy just dies. And where exactly are we going? Where are we going? We're going straight to hell. <laughs> What's this dude's <laughs> name? Uh, Rusty. Rusty? Old Rusty. Old Rusty. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not oh falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. That's mighty kind of yourselves. No, you picked the wrong job with the health and thirst of vengeance. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. That's Maybe the true. men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, Fire Boy. Had he short be alive, the Jap would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Type Detective box. Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. The I only suggested fruit. a proficiency in solving them. <laughs> Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother. Cole, you know what? You're so much of a dick that I like it. Yeah, Cole is such a dick. Not in the same way as Stefan or Rusty. Yeah. He's, he's like an interesting character. He is... The most Boy Scout? Mm-hmm. I was just about to say Boy Scout. Oh, oh, oh wow. So this is this is like the uh, the the lower suburbs, I guess. Yeah, of LA. Be on the lookout for that license plate, by the way. Yeah, you're right. I'll try the back door. Wait here. Oh, okay. Just straight into it. TMI. Oh, jeez. Oh. Nothing suspicious here. <laughs> this is interesting. How's he gonna shoot if he's all drunk? I got two guns. <laughs> one for each. <laughs> Side window's been jimmy. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. You can say that. Doc Holliday's great. True that. Ah, oh, flying days. Ah, Google's. Okay, whatever you say, Cole. Man, yeah, Cole, you never think anything's connected. <laughs> Thank you for getting out of my freaking way. Jesus. Gee, Cole, how come Mom lets you get two homicide cases? <laughs> oh, physics? Who? What? What are these doing in my game? Next gen. Uh, play Claire de Lune. No. Play the Peanuts theme. Yeah, that too. What's the one? Is that the one Griffin always does? Oh, uh, no, he does one. the Rugrats That's thing. That's it, yeah. You do the Peanuts thing. God, that Rugrats thing is funny. <laughs> dun, 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 ah, hello. A shoe. Incidental. Uh, uh, Size nine. Above average for a lady. <gasps> okay. She had big feet. She... You know what that means. <laughs> Mean she was a drinker. Operator, give me dispatch. Hmm. Putting you through now. New information. Give me dispatch. Phelps back. <laughs> <12 points down. laughs> like a bullet just fires out of the hands. How can I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate. Two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. It's acronyms. I know, right? Thanks for your help. They keep talking about KGPL. It must be dang important. Um, I can't open it. KGPL. Oh, uh, wait. I was just that. K 
can't go I'm gonna there. look that up, because I'm actually... Yeah, they don't hold your hand through all the jargon in this game. Um, <clears throat> another brush, just like the one that we found at the crime scene. Oh, yeah. Well, not just like. But... It's the LAPD's police dispatch. I figured it was a radio thing, but... Mm, okay. What's this ring? Is this the box that held the, the ring? Wow, that's a real thing. Carmine was Tiffany Twisted. <laughs> if we find the license plate and it's on a Mercedes Benz, we'll know. Yeah. A regular Amelia Earhart. <laughs> hey, yeah, Amelia Earhart was very contemporary. That was, that was like, like, maybe this was... Amelia Earhart was less than ten years before this. Yeah. I'm sure. No, when was that? Like the 30s? I think it was 38 or something. I'm gonna look that up, too. Or maybe she went around the... I think she flew across the Atlantic in 37 and then disappeared in 38 or something like that. Okay. There's Amelia nothing more to explain. Amelia Earhart... Um... Uh, is there anything else in this house? Oh, the kitchen. Earhart's last flight was in March 1937. Nice. Oh, it's close. So me and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to hmm. me. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. Jacob could get us something to drink. Yeah, we gotta if find I Jacob. If I drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Jeez. <laughs> Call burglary and get technical services out here. <laughs> this Call guy... Me. Yeah. Rusty. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Rusty, it's not cute like Stefan was. Yeah. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? <laughs> I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> okay, Buster. Enter combat mode against Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> limit break bust <laughs> busty <laughs> limit break rusty doesn't tell me anything TMI of them yeah I don't <laughs> um, wow oh god oof da. I don't think this is anything I socks think... evidence a lawnmower evidence Huh? Why did she have a lawnmower if her backyard is full of rocks? Okay, I, I think we've exhausted our She options. literally didn't need a lawnmower. Look at this. Yeah, you're right. The frame rate. That's Southern evidence. California for you. Uh, I, think, I think this is everything. I've walked, I've scanned the house smashing A. The grass is dying and the crime rate oh, is on the rise. Wait. What was this again? Just as key. It didn't... It's weird that he said that's nothing. Keys tend to be important in video games, of all things. Especially if they're color-coded. Yeah. Um, I guess... Oh, he's already in the car. That Can definitely means it's time to go. Um, Jacob's... Wait, they had different apartments? Henry Residence and Jacob Henry. Uh, uh, th this is where we are right now. Yeah. So definitely this place next. So I guess, oh, I guess that's what the, the note was about, about yeah. how he got my temporary apartment. He Makes moved sense. out because of her, her uh, she's a whiskey drinking woman thing. Yeah. Okay, Phil, we're going hard. Follow my lead. Going hard. TMI, dude. Oh, we've got, the, we've got the guns out. Look at this Red Dead Redemption area. Yeah, I was actually thinking this architecture is, is very Spanish. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. Laughed. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Saved a dramatic. Oh my god! RKO, pal. You got big problems. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. I recognize We're gonna have this a look guy. Uh, from a video. Oh, from really? I've seen. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> you get to interview this guy at the actual police department. Oh, okay. Huh. What? <laughs> uh, I now this is your wife is foul. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't want to talk to him. Um, 
A screwdriver. Like anything. <laughs> That's a form of drink. <laughs> what are you hiding? Oh my god. <laughs> Gee, what? Rusty Christ. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jesus, Rusty! I don't even get the joke, dude! I think he's talking about the room they invest- or, um, oh, they interview- oh, oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh, yeah, do buddy. Do the thing! Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. Oh, I love it when they do this in Mysteries. Oh, wow, they actually bothered to program this. This is cool. That looks really- That looks fake Could, clean. Yeah, uh, well, the writing does. But the, the, the way the pencil... Yeah, the graphite looks really good. It's great, yeah. That the what problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Yep. Oh, shoot, dude, that's really incriminating evidence. <laughs> Friggin' gotta do something about my wife. I don't know. He that paid the werewolf. That could mean getting, like, a therapist or something. Yeah. But... It's suspicious, but not necessarily incriminating. Yeah, actually, um... Oh, shoes. Oh, what shoe size is he? Eleven. Hmm. Size eleven. However, um, uh, what, uh, Rusty pointed out that he suspected that it was a, a freebie, or whatever. Or sorry, a cut. Do you have a size eleven foot? Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, Same. I, I'm the murderer. <laughs> Wait, no, that was size <laughs> no, eight. No, those are size eight. Yeah. Uh, so, or, um. Rusty pointed out he felt that the murder scene was a copycat of the werewolf. Yeah. Which would make sense if he this guy someone. had hired somebody and didn't want the trail to lead back to him. It's all starting to come together. Uh, movements of victim? Did she have full use of her arms? <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, he's ready. He's he's ready to tell a lie. <laughs> no kidding. Um, last contact with victim. Motive for mur movements of victim. Do you really think that has to do with like their arms and stuff? No, no, like where they went. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Kill Celine. Where did she go last night? Yeah, that was a bad joke. Bar, I suppose. Look, oh, look at his what eyes. Is that? <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, okay. No, he would know that because the guy yeah. called him. Husband's uh, alibi? Yeah, wait. Uh, yeah. Hit him Repeatedly. Up yeah, hit him up with that lie. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Jacob. You get ten years in the slammer for that. The bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. Why would he lie about that? No. That sounds... Yeah. You would... One rang a couple more times after that. You would suspect that the detectives I would know him. where she was. have to live with that. <laughs> Dude! Oh my god. Wow, this actor is really good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> when did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Yeah, that's a good question. Last night. Oh, really? I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Uh, this seems like a doubt, but I'm gonna check. Let the, let's check the log and then the evidence. So, um, when did you last see your wife? Last night, went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand, and I left. Anything that would be against that? Let's see. No. Um. Maybe this. No, I don't know. I don't think so. We the, can't tie that to him. Yeah, the forced entry is a weird point because the story up to this point was that she went to the bar and then left with someone dangerous. Mm -hmm. However, 
forced entry would indicate otherwise. Huh. Well, I think the forced entry could have been someone else breaking in, like, post-mortem or whatever. Like, there might be another suspect. Maybe. The thing is, we don't know. Like, yeah. That's what such we... an open clue. What about this? <laughs> uh, I don't think that necessarily has anything to do with his last contact with his wife. Mm, yeah. That was probably after the, the argument... Or even before, I don't know. Yeah, um, you're right. We've got a lot of evidence against this guy, but he not said, quite he said that they, against the fact that he saw her last night. Yeah, they met last night, and they talked and got out of hand, and that one would have been when she went to the bar. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I don't know why he would... He doesn't look like he's lying. No, he, he looks... I would truth it. Oh, really? I think so. I don't know, he looks a little nervous. He's like... Mm. That's the same face he was making, like, neutral. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, I'll truth it. Oh wait, maybe I should use intuition. Oh, maybe. We've got five. Yeah, pop it. Nice! Truth. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? My ace defective Look. is on point today. Sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Okay. Sweet. Motive for murder. Hmm. This Why seems you like where the things will go better problems. if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Oh, dude. Uh, that's that's the I need to do something about my wife thing, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Um, lousy thing to say, I never, pause, gave up on my wife. Yeah. Hmm. He's guilty of giving up, and that, that, um, note proves it. I don't it. believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? 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 Death threat note? Yeah. If this is an it. suggest you meant her harm. Then I'll be You spread. want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. Okay. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. I feel like we went... We will, we still produce the right evidence for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Kill my own wife? It was a loss of the trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Fist fight. Oh, God, I forgot how this oh, freaking works. The hat. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, guys. I forgot. We haven't had to do this in ages. How does this work? Give him a I, smack. I'm pressing all the buttons. Oh, I have to hold L2. Can I? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I have to hold L2 and use X and A. I got <laughs> I like that little that little yeah. punch and then just turn her around, no no resisting or anything. He canceled that punch into a handcuff. True cancel. That's a true combo. He Roman canceled that punch <laughs> into a uh, into a cuff. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. Check for messages. We'll keep slugger here, company. Uh, there was a phone right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, where? Uh, right by the note. Oh yeah, you're right. He said that. Right there, I think. It's so dark you can't see the receiver. Yeah. Putting you through now. Colt Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. You'll never believe it. Rusty just got socked. <laughs> I need a patrol <laughs> suspect back to central. Certainly, Detective. KGP, I'll get you this. Everybody on the other end of the phone is laughing. Rusty's like, what are they saying? I've completed the autopsy. Several 
message from the corner? Can't I just walk there? Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. That's what we thought. The cause of death was the blow. No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Hmm. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Oh, Anything yes. else? He's some kind of sex fiend. <laughs> Tissues of the anus were Wow! No! But no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Did I kind of weirdly uh, call that? Back. Yeah, <laughs> with the weird jokes. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License for Foreshadowing. Wow. Well. Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Why didn't, what? He, why didn't he call this in earlier Any other for the license plate? One, Detective. From I Captain Donnelly. He, he wants any and all suspects. Oh, yeah. Mitchell. She said he would. Interviews to be set up immediately. Video. Interview Got about it. what? Come. Wait. Uh, with Mendez. Uh, uh, any other messages? One from D Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects to be interviewed. Okay. Yeah. Coming in. Yeah, so your only suspect so far is the husband. Well, now we have Ale whatever, Alex Mendez. Yeah, Alonzo? Alonzo. I don't remember. Uh, it was Mendez, whatever it was. Um, Alonzo Mendez. You're behind the wheel. No, Where he's standing right the there. Belt. He's not. Hmm. Uh, I think it's prudent to go to the apartment. I think you're right. I wish she jumped over that. <laughs> yeah. Brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. <laughs> Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. I guess you're right. That's fair. <laughs> I drink, I eat, I cuss. <laughs> it's what I do. Oh yeah, so I get punched by it. suspects. Dudley. Yes. Apartment 16. I like the idea that all of the names on the apartments in this game are like dev team members. Yeah. Oh wow, I can I can actually check this out. Uh oh, so I actually since we last played found out this is like straight up a one to one recreation. I've heard that. Really yeah. Looked, I didn't know that. I thought it was like some artistic liberties. But no, no, I heard they did. They did research. Uh, apartment sixteen. Where are the numbers? Mm. I, it, oh, they're they're on the doors. They're just hard to see. That's number three. Oh yeah, jeez, I couldn't even see that thing. Uh, sixteen is on the fourth floor. Thank you. All right. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Um, 14, 15. So, so it would be in the one on the left right. here. Don't bother oh, that's 15. The door in. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is your kink for kicking doors open, dude? When the house is a rocking, don't bother knocking. Kick the door open rocking. with no gun out? <laughs> oh, I, I thought, thought he was, was taking a on seat the on the couch. <laughs> yeah. You do the work. I'll stay here and rest. Oh, that's um, the other thing he does besides the same key. Does. It's more than than me to connect that. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You're smarter than Cole Phelps, Brad? Impossible. Impossible. He's the smartest man on earth. Uh, the come world's on. greatest. Come on, Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> the world's greatest detective is what I was going to say, but. Um, Oh yeah, look at the, they stuck a big light on it. Yeah, you're right. Huh? There's a man in this closet. Oh wow. Jesus Christ! Okay. This is incriminating. He can't be the suspect, huh? Zoom! Ah, uh, there's lipstick right there. Wow. That's pretty conclusive. 
All right. Well, <laughs> case closed. <laughs> Better get Pinker down here. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that's it? Throw it away. Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Don will begin to like you. <laughs> hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Ah, uh, Chase. Here we go. He's gonna jump out a window. Son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. <laughs> the most casual. Do do. Get him. Oh boy. Period accurate rooftops. Yep. True. An AC unit. Wow. Let me just. Oh, I can't jump off the side. It wouldn't let me. Shoot him. Shoot him when he was on the ladder. Yeah. I wish. A good game would let you do that. Yeah. If this game was Breath of the Wild, it would let you shoot this criminal in the face. Okay. Cut to a, a unique cutscene. I think it was loading the streets secretly. Yeah, probably. Is he getting in his car? Yeah, look at that. Oh, no. Get in the car. Yeah, dude. Nice job, dude. Rusty ain't on. He ain't all bad. Nah. Hey, now you can check his oh license boy. plate. Where'd he go? Oh my god, Tokyo Drift! To the left. Uh, there he is. God, the controls are so wonky. Oh, for those of you who... Well, you all missed this. The the widescreen fix we used, uh, when it uncaps the frame rate, it oh also makes the cars really slippery. No, oh, Jesus! So uh, This guy's insane. So Brett can Tokyo Drift this crap. It sucks, actually, but uh, could be worse. It sucks, but it looks very stylish. Oh, God. <laughs> He's gonna shoot him. Whoops. Okay. We're on a straight shoot. That's good. Uh. Woohoo! Stay nice. close. This is to just the left like... rear bumper. Oh, boy. This is a really crappy recreation of Bullet. Wow. Oh god! Jesus! Didn't even phase him. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tire! Do it, do it, do it! Almost. Oh no, oh no! Oh nice. my god! Slow down! Jesus Christ, Perfect. I can't believe I didn't hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Rusty's such a badass. <laughs> where, where is he? Is he in the car? There, there we He's go. He's still fine. No seatbelts, too. This yeah. is this is the forties. My goodness. Glad we went there before the LAPD offices. In real, in real life, he'd be dead. Yeah, no kidding. That's why you wear your seatbelts. Dora was right, guys. Um. Can Cut we check to it? Can we check his license plate? You did a uh, job, Lance. Probably could have. But Phelps, wait, what? That's quite a way to acquit yourself from your first outing as a homicide investigator. Wait, what? The case can't be it's over. We didn't get to guys. investigate the. We I sure hope it is. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which your report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. I like how he's drinking yeah. his alcohol. Look at Phelps, he's so <laughs> happy! Oh no! Oh. oh, that's awful! Oh. What the heck? We did everything! Rusty literally sat on couches the whole time. Oh. Dang it, we were so close to like a perfect run of that one. Oh, we still got five stars though. Yeah, sweet deal. Uh, the suspect is in the bag, even if you did leave Jacob sweating in the central lockup. Well, it's a shame we didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it didn't matter. We got a perfect score anyway. Yeah, so, back to here. Uh, Golden Butterfly. Let's go. I'm going to Google that to see if that's another movie. Oh, we ha Oh, select save game to overwrite. Oh, okay. Whatever, I'll just... I'll just do the top one. Yeah, I really like this game. Dang. Uh oh, the second the second thing after the Ellie Noir wiki entry is 
Gamefacts.com. Man, I hated the golden butterfly case. Oh, oh dear. It'll be fine. Let's, let's, okay, the let's, name doesn't wait, seem wait, to be wait, a wait. reference to anything. Okay. Let's There's watch this closely. Anyway. So Mirando is walking up to this lady. Okay. <laughs> that was brutal, dude. Oh my god. Is that it? That was it. A woman leaves her car and gets haymakered. Oh, that's frightening. God, it's good. The Phantom Haymaker. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, Rusty. God. New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hats are all over it. The captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. Yeah. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on the colleague. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Neat. Sunset Boulevard. I swear. That's the movie that um, <laughs> David Lynch <laughs> refused to make. So bad. <laughs> I was gonna say that's the movie that that. Um, I like the idea of the movie that David Lynch <laughs> refused to make. No, that's the movie that Gordon Cole is from. Yeah. It's a good Ooh. movie. The, a much better Cole. A much better coal, yeah. Your partner cannot drive at this time. They need you to drive. No, no wait. No, oh, okay. never mind. Oh, okay. Not bad for your first time in bat. Thanks. Thanks, Rusty. Thanks, Rusty. of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. Right. I knew you were Faster, might get along after all. What can you say? Character development. Now what is this, an arc? What is this, a noir film where the buddy cops have to come to like each other? I have two of my I understand you now, baby legs. <laughs> Thanks, normal legs. Aren't there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? Yeah. And of Elizabeth Short for that. You don't matter. believe there's a crazy sex killer at large. <laughs> women <laughs> this guy. Oh man, sex killer is the name of my new band. Crazed sex killer. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe. They yeah, right. Very poetic. Wow. I like this guy. Yeah. Genuinely, he, he's like one of the only good people working in the police. Yes. Yeah. And he has a very uh, endearing accent. Yeah, no kidding. He's going to be a villain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't think about it. Dang it. <laughs> he's going to be the so most right. He's going to be the most crooked cop of them all. Yeah, God. Uh, he is... He's the Black Dahlia. <laughs> what? What? what, what, what He's the Zodiac me. Killer. Not me. <laughs> family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. And you show me the body. It's under the pepper tree. This way. So what's going on over Who's honking? A pepper tree for a spicy case. How did you get here? Isn't that right, Rusty? Shut the hell up, Cole. Man, if there's not like bell peppers Can't growing all over the place, I'm gonna be disappointed. Is that a squirrel? I swear I saw something move out of my peripheral vision. It's the yes. killer. <laughs> Size eight. Stopping angle in Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Small men's footprints. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Wow, that's similar. Hey. Whoa. You're gonna have to censor this for YouTube. Uh, will you? I won't bother. <laughs> YouTube doesn't care. They let Logan Paul do what he wants. <laughs> Logan Paul is the Black Dahlia. <laughs> Back in a second. Deidre Muller, Parent Teacher Association. Huh? Oh, other stuff? I'm gonna Money. slip this into my Illuminati. pocket. Illuminati! <laughs> 
this is evidence. I'm gonna need to just keep on keep a hold on that. Those are the only two things. So her identity and it wasn't a robbery. The dude just randomly came up and whacked her on the head. Um, anything over here? Nice. Probably nothing. Yep. It seems like they just scatter a bunch of stuff in case you're mashing A, but but the. The things that are important are pretty clearly telegraphed. Okay, there's the coroner. The remote. What? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is wow, probably another sad really stack of lost fast temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, though. <laughs> All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it now. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? Eight. Eight. You finished? No, I'm not. Rusty. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. Oh. I need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. They so our suspect was in the Navy. That's Rusty, in shut life. up! <laughs> Mind if I examine the body? I like how Stop he's... projecting! I like how Rusty said never to assume until you've seen all the evidence, and then he I know, right? he, he assumes Shut everything. Shut up, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a thing. No, 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 Phelps! So our suspect's in the Navy, huh? Uh huh? Looks like she was tied up. Oh. He does it first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. Oh? I think her watch might have been torn off. Oh, that would make sense. More well. jewelry, huh? Yeah, look at that. This mark. Cut on the finger. Same thing. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. But I like... Crazy. I like all the little audio cues in this game. Mm -hmm. They're very... They're very, uh... Flat war. Oh. She was stomped, all right. We didn't get a comment for that one. Here. Oh. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. Yeah. I'll do some comparisons back at the what lab. What the heck? Ouch. Looks like an alien did that. <laughs> what the? Oh, it, it, because it was with, like, a uh, type of rope. Yeah. God, that is so gross. Detective, I'm confident. Oh, says that Deirdre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What did I tell you? North Bonnie Bray Grandpa, sounds like the nicest street to live on. Work over. No! Rusty! Time. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Oh, that's what you just said. God. Um. Okay. Uh, what, did I miss any evidence? Let's see. Uh, there was the footprints. There was her purse, and there was her. Pretty much the same amount of evidence that there was for the last case. Yeah. Um. Nice. Whoops. Okay. Hold on a sec. Yeah, uh, okay. there we go. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're done. Yeah, I just wanted to run over her body. <laughs> Victim was stomped, How bad is and then stomped again <laughs> when Cole missed the jump. <laughs> oh no! Stupid Cole. Steal the coroner's car. <laughs> you drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. This is the only place Where we, we had go. You Where do you think, me. buddy? We're driving this. Oh! oh! No! No, 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 do it. <laughs> Brett. You can drive. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Driving <laughs> this? Take a hearse to the crime. Still might be some play in the boyfriend. I thought we were on our way to lock up the house. Yeah. It doesn't work out then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. Yeah. The woman, wasn't she? Ooh, oh, jeez. My third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angel. Wow. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bear. This conversation is over. <laughs> Good on you, Phelps. Boy. Man. It's, it's just... This is where they make the yogurt. <laughs> yogurt, you say? Well, Muller, recipe, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> that joke is so bad that I'm ashamed. I'm going in 
come this way. No, I can't. Roll through the window. Yeah, do it. Oh. Uh, Maybe when you try the front door. I'm gonna actually do a do a little circle around and like mash a little. Come on. Uh, mash. That's not contemporary. Yeah. Oh. That's not open. Is that one? No. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm going in the front. Hey guys, those get guys, out of here. Those boys are killing Whoa. the frame rate. Yeah. They're unique facial animations. <laughs> Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is uh, your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. Uh -oh. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. We didn't need the middle name, you piece of rat. Hey, Rusty, preemptively, shut up. <laughs> Rusty, he's like, who's the little broad? <laughs> what are you, a pint-sized broad? <laughs> Do you drink, Eloise? <laughs> I smoke, <run> brother. <laughs> <laughs> Eloise, uh, how'd you like to be my fourth wife? <laughs> what, a Stradivarius? The murder weapon. <laughs> he was trying to stomp the violin and she, he stomped the woman instead. It was an accident. I did not hit her. I did not. I did not. Bullshit. I did not. Um, oh, hey, Rusty. Oh, hey, Cole. Oh, hi, Cole. Oh, yeah, of course it's oh, hi, Mark, not oh, hey, Mark. My mind is on the case, not on the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we are casing the room. That, oh. Very clever. Uh, is there any evidence anywhere? Press X. A knife! <laughs> Carrots. <laughs> what about your vitamin D? Wait. Um, a lemon. Lemons. Yeah. That's a real lemon of a clue right there. Okay, that's not... This isn't what we're looking for. Are you sure? Know? How do you know? Cole? Wow, there's nothing... Okay, finally, something. Another note to me. What? What, what does it say? Don't, Don't forget... forget... Mom's birthday. Oh, uh, yeah. On the 16th. What is it today? Um... Check that know. calendar. Does it have marks? Uh, that would be a really ni nice touch. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. In. Don't worry about it. It's unmarked. Oh, uh, there we go. But look. No, look. See? Yeah, yeah, but it's unmarked. Oh, I was hoping I see it had mean, X's. Like, yeah, yeah. like it would be a, a fun little a fun little touch of like today yeah. for her birthday or whatever. So it's it's January uh, January 47th. Okay. Right, 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 right. Anything. Okay, fine. You got promoted like twice in a month. Yeah. Rising, rising superstar Cole Phelps. <laughs> okay, there's nothing to investigate. Let me just talk to her. What now? Everything in this house is evidence. Take a look around. What are you talking about? Especially the cornflakes. <laughs> Those bananas. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is. Don't cry, robot. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? <laughs> Try. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's not exactly the best actress in this game. Um, uh, I could try. I will assist you in any way I can. Okay, uh, last contact. When did you last you see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. We were at the bar drinking. We went to a dance at Belmont High. Oh! You went to a oh, dance, you whore? She didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Mm. <laughs> New location, Belmont High School? Daddy came instead. Uh, that's a little suspicious. A little sus- Look at her sneaky eyes. Oh, wow, we really don't have any evidence, so that's a doubt. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I 
called and called and How'd finally you call? answered. How'd you call? You didn't have a cell phone. You had a school away had then. phone sitting around. Yeah, you okay. can like talk to the receptionist at the yeah. school or whatever. Yeah. The front desk. Uh, jewelry removed from body. Did you steal the jewelry? Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, a watch. Those are the things. Those are a thing. I never paid much attention to that stuff. That's a truth. <laughs> yeah, absolutely truth. This may be important. She wore a wedding ring. Somebody chose it herself. Oh. Okay. It was gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. <laughs> I don't notice this stuff. Yes. <laughs> Yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. Wait, what? A fight. A fight about. It was kind of a makeup present. Oh, I see. That makes sense. State but jewelry is dad, not makeup. It's jewelry. Happily married. <laughs> Stupid what are you saying? kid. Of course they are. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Heavy, heavy, heavy doubt. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no particular evidence against this, so that's just they super, weren't happy super they weren't doubt. Show. Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she was leaving if he ever did it again. All good for her. Mm. Didn't work out, I guess. For, it. for her, I mean. I mean always wore her golden the end. Oh, golden butterfly. Oh, thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hmm. What? Hey, what did? Daddy, the police are here. Room, I'll talk to him. He looks familiar. Yeah, a little bit. Room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's Your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? Yeah, cut him off. What? The... But, but she only... Why did you single out the word found? Yeah, yeah that's a little weird. That we would like to ask you. Sure. Oh, straight into the next interrogation. Okay, cool. Uh, one sec. I want to check. What my size shoes do you wear? Um, uh, no, 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 no. It was up. It was up. Uh, just once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin. Uh, the gold, the golden butterfly. So the titular golden butterfly. That was not found at the crime scene. Nice picture. <laughs> <laughs> they said, "Smile for the camera." <laughs> Smile for the camera and I'll give okay, you hard he's, candy. He's pretty neutral. That's Wait, it. what? No, 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 no. I, <laughs> um, hmm, what's your shoe size, buddy? Yeah, exactly. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Oh, Ooh. look at the shifty eye. I'm going to doubt that. This doesn't seem like one we can disprove with evidence. This seems like put pressure on him because yeah, he's lying. no, I agree with you. Um, because wow, they don't even specify the exact shoe size here. They, I wonder if they just assume that you would remember that. Yeah, it's eight. So. Yeah, eight. Um, yeah, he's definitely not in his neutral animation anymore. I'm glad I checked that as neutral animation. So that Eight, the last victim's shoe size was nine. Anyone who wears the smallest men's shoe who has a major that. grudge against your wife? Is there something you would like to tell us, Hugo? No, I do not. You finished making hints? <laughs> yeah, that was wrong, wasn't it? Oh, I... hey, weird. Huh. Let me review evidence. Weird, he had some shifty <laughs> eyes, too. Yeah... I guess that was a lie, and we were supposed to select this. Or maybe... Maybe he was telling the truth, and he was just looking suspicious for no reason. Maybe. That seems unlikely to me. Well, I think... I think what we were supposed to think was he would have no reason to lie, because we could easily find out. Yeah. Like, seize his property and see what size shoe he You're is. Right. You're right. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Ha! Nice lie, yeah. buddy! We uh, we talked to your daughter, fool! Yep, yeah, there you go. You should come clean if you're having an affair, or if there's something going on. I told you I was here when you said I wasn't. 
<laughs> what are you saying it wasn't? Uh-huh. You weren't? And these rope marks on your wife prove it. Oh, you can back out of an accusation. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. That's nice. Um, yeah, super that. Easy. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Oh, the okay. music. I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Driving anywhere near the scene of the murder? <laughs> was your wife in the trunk? This morning? Relaxing? Yeah, wait, they yeah, said the right. missing persons report was from her, her husband. My wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. This seems true. Oh. oh. Whoops. Um, the scent of a mouse. <laughs> That's funny, actually. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, so... You phoned in a missing persons report. Yeah, because she didn't come home last night. She left around 9.30. Michelle was at a dance. She called me to let me know that Deja didn't turn up. Is there a way I can, like, get rid of the vignette at the bottom? Because that's the only place the yeah. relevant dialogue ever is. And I really that's, a, that. that's a real shame. It's an oversight. Um, check the options. Maybe there's a thing for tooltips. Like under Display. gameplay, maybe or interface size subtype. Hmm. Mm. Check check under gameplay. It could be under there. Chimes and controller vibration will indicate the presence of nearby objects. Music will play continuously while investigating the location. Gun fights, chases, and tailing sequences must be completed. I actually like those chases and brawls. Yeah, even I, though I keep them. It, it's hard to keep track of how the controls work for those, mm -hmm. uh, they're fun. It could even be under controls, maybe. Uh, oh, check. Uh, nah. No. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I can still read them. It's just unfortunate. That does seem like an oversight. Yeah. So all he's saying is, yes, I did file the missing persons report. Here's when she left. Left and around nine thirty. Michelle, Michelle was at a dance. To let me know that Deidre didn't show up. How did you know Michelle called if you were driving? Maybe well, I think she did eventually get through to her get dad. Hold of him. Yeah. Yeah, and then he came to pick her up. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hmm. Uh, this seems true, but uh, he's God. He's acting so suspicious. Yeah. Uh, I'm mean, gonna be try intuition. Yeah, I I agree. Because we have tons of. Oh, ones. great! Cool. Okay. Uh, hmm. Doubt. No, I, honest, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, yeah, this is toughy. I, I I actually feel like truth, just because of the way he presented the information when he was initially saying it. Uh, seemed like he was kind of like giving up on telling a lie. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm just gonna. Did, no use dwelling. Well reliable. No. She's a heavy drinker. <laughs> wow. Okay, so okay. that was a doubt, huh? <laughs> Boy. Great. All oh, right. Well. well. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence. Towards yeah, mm -hmm. that's not that's not true. God Golden damn it. brute. That is true. What are you talking about? Hit him with that butterfly. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. Yeah, you Victor Hugo. You put on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Oh, that's all you gotta say, buddy, huh? <laughs> You don't know, you know me. You don't butterfly. know my life. And how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, all right. jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? No. Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty, that's what you've got to say? I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your dog. You're no Rockefeller. Central Station for questioning. Okay, we got to go question this time. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage! I didn't kill oh, my wife! Oh, you have to fight him. daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. 
Well said, Phelps. No kidding. He's gonna run away. He should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half a minute in L.A. Three, <laughs> yeah. we have no evidence to him. <laughs> They're still driving the coroner's car. Hello? Detective! Ah, uh, interesting. I'd like to spill the beans. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. Oh, you can help us with our inquiries. Hey, that's the yes, same vo the same woman. They had a with the same oh. facial actress. Yeah. From that other case. Did Mrs. Mm -hmm. come home late last yeah. night? Yeah. Weird. No, not at all. I did <laughs> no. something in the Welcome to Chili's. Look at her arms. This morning, though. Put something in the in incinerator? Wow. Into a cell. Look, there he is now. I called it! <laughs> Just cut straight to Cole already running. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to Oh, fuck. Place. I was already thinking about shooting. Damn it. Nice. Nice thinking, Brett. Mm. Oh, tackle? Okay, that's new. Rising tackle. Crack shoot. <laughs> Buster Wolf! Asphalt jungle. <laughs> You're back at the incinerator. Yeah, because we, we got to get the thing out. He's burning his shoes. Ah, what an idiot! Size 8. They've got blood on them! <laughs> wow! I, I can explain the blood. Uh-huh. I like how he didn't wait at all. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. We were still on the street. Yes, sir, detective. We could see you around the corner. Someone you can call, miss. I don't... Oh god, her mom's dead and her dad's arrested. Whoops. Your mother, family, grandparents, and I'll adopt you, Michelle. This will be just like Annie. Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We never of. had a little girl. You ought to get some uniforms down here. Clean up. <laughs> Back to her... I love the idea of that scene, but, like... She's being brought into LAPD's offices. Like, Galloway. I think I'm gonna like it here. <laughs> hey, Rusty, where'd you go? Services team to a house at 130. Is he in the car? No. Send someone down from juvenile hall to look after a young lady. Excuse me. Oh, he's in our car. Oh. How did it get here? Can the days go by? Wait, what? This Inform is not Phelps my what? This is not my car. Inform uh, Phelps that the coroner has a report waiting. Okay. Wait. Should I? Was there a phone I could check? I don't know. Let's go to high school on this. Oh, I can't. Oh, maybe you. Weird. All right. Um, oh, I'm in the driver's seat. Whoops. Screw you, Rusty. Drive. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like that idea. I'm surprised, you like, know. Annie, but Annie them. was involved in a police case. <laughs> like she was an orphan because of an event that happens at the start of the movie. Yeah. And Daddy that's, War that's harrowing, dude. Yeah, Daddy Warbucks is like the chief of police or something. Occam's razor. Wait, the simplest what? explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical. Bless you. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. <laughs> Ooh! Appreciate it. And try this <laughs> exercise. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging it. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. This is cold. Puts a lot Ooh. of people away that way. Good banter. Yeah, that's some... That's some sass. They're flinging some sass around. Yeah. I like that Phelps... Wow, Phelps. Uh, I like that Phelps is opening up enough that he can be that sassy. Yeah. Instead of going to the movies, they go to the central morgue. <laughs> Let's go oh, to the, frame the rate. mortuary. Oh my god. I thought you were just walking. No. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Wow. Oh, yeah, we, we've been here. Well, Let's Rusty, go see a coming. corpse. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. 
It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death. No, we just showed up to come see you. Correct. Yeah, take a look at the samples on the bench. Okay. Huh. Oh! Interesting. It's that's the one. semen we found on the crime scene, and that's it's, some it's of my own one. semen for comparison. Come on, it's this one. It's got to be that one. Like, I'll do the other ones just in case they get dialogue, but, like, no. Well, oh, it could be this, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm, I think I'm wrong. uses for that kind of rope. Fishing. On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Oh my god! The race Wars? says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. I was... I was weirdly right about making that joke about our, our suspect being in the Navy. Oh yeah, weird. I keep accidentally calling these. Because he said he was going to check for semen. For a sailor or a... Oh my god! <laughs> Sailors seem to have a greater libido. Was Mrs. Oh my god! No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, pal. If anything else comes up, you let us know. Yeah. Huh. Looking for a sailor, no semen. Hmm. So, wow. some... Oh, I gotta stop doing this. this. <laughs> I'm ruining these cases. You better be careful. You're gonna turn into Pat. You're, you're gonna get cursed and be wrong about everything for the rest of your life. <laughs> My stand, weirdly correct talk. <laughs> My stand, Wait. accidental foreshadowing. Are we out of stuff? Um. We don't have a. Um. What do we investigate now? She's the one who died. He, that's the husband. That's the daughter. That's the neighbor who was said incinerator. And then we found the shoes in the incinerator. Yeah. Um. It's weird to me that the LAPD offices don't show up as a location. Because we, we could, I guess we, we could interview Hugo. Well, yeah. Uh, weird. Huh. Did did uh, did we have anything to say about? Investigate the high school. Okay, now it's an option. Okay, that's weird, weird that it shows up and then you can't investigate it. That is weird. Let's take the ambulance. Oh! You know way. You can drive. Yeah! And where exactly are we going? What the heck? Do we just have to drive there? I guess? Find it manually? Oh, hey. we were supposed to call! Oh, tell me where the oh, high school is. Oh, the frame rate! That's not a phone. Yeah. Just wanted the be sure. Phone, phone. Who's got the phone? I got the phone. I'm gonna have to and die. <laughs> Who's got the phone? I got the phone. Ring, 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 no, ring, one, two, ring, four, ring, ring. Banana phone. Boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. There we go. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High. West Why are there so many Belmont Highs? West are there yeah, any that's weird. Support? Have you ever noticed that? Yes, Not until you just said Agreed. that. 1946 coupe, registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller, has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Wait, Plainfield. Wait, what? Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the oh, janitor statement. Oh, the mom was killed in the parking lot of the high school. That was no. her getting out of the car to pick up her daughter at the oh, in the yeah. intro cutscene. Yeah, you're right. Oh, weird. Okay, now let's get me. Belmont <laughs> High School is a real school in LA. Of course. I bet you a bunch of I bet you that's a thing in so many movies and TV shows because people went there. People <laughs> in Hollywood <laughs> went there. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, let's just name this small town high school of that. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Bro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, man. Mm -hmm. Awesome. No, you don't want to join your degrees. Hit the guy. Get off the lonely, rambling around a joint full of cords. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulp. <laughs> been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through it. <laughs> Boy, Rusty, <laughs> with a sense of humor like yours, was your family a bunch of morticians? <laughs> that's why I'm comfortable driving this hearse. 
Oh wow, look at this freaking period I'm gonna, accurate high school. I'm gonna no kidding. I'm gonna look at the Wikipedia page for Belmont High School and see mm. if they have a list of like Appearance pop culture answer. lists. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person parked? Whoa, the car? that was a hard cut. Late last night, after school social, maybe one a.m. Let me keep it a good eye out lately. We've had problems. With there the are a lot of famous this alumni in here. Matter. I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but the truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my God, he's right there. Is he violent? Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now. <laughs> <laughs> that was so awkward. <laughs> New POI. Child, Child molester. molester. Oh, no. Get him. Kill him. <laughs> I can't wait for Phelps' dialogue on this guy. <laughs> you kitty twiddler, get back here. Skip the truck. Jump over the car. How oh, wait, this is the guy! He's got the same cap as the intro cutscene. You're right. Where'd he go? He's on the left. Ugh. Yeah, get hit by a car. Hit him! Oh my yeah! god! Oh Rusty! my god! Hey, um, hey, buddy, I Rusty, got you. you. Did it? Oh my God, Rusty! <laughs> I can't believe it. Who's ask? Who's asking? <laughs> Seriously? The cops? Idiot! You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli. Son of Just for molesting children. I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, <laughs> is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, for her. And I would love to make you for that, you Loki motherfucker. <laughs> I love Rusty. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A little younger than that. Oh, uh, it's Eli. And why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's not joking crazy. either. He hit him with a car. Oh, no! Rusty, Eli. Wow. Very deep trouble. Well... That's pretty conclusive evidence. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna take out my gun and I'm gonna count to five. Uh, now Rusty? Wait, what? Rusty? No, 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 no. no, no. Wait, don't actually kill him. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. I'll tell them we got a kitty reaper coming and they can roll out the red car. Hit him with the car again. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I'm so glad that that actually got. I'm glad they bothered to program that. I feel like that's exactly what is programmed to happen. Oh yeah. Um, what are we doing? But yeah, now? Rusty doesn't pull. I'm at a loss. Right. Search the car for physical evidence. Makes Which sense. Which car? The car she was driving? Oh, this one. Oh, okay. That was a weird wow. cut. Take a look at that. Yeah, huh. Hmm. It's from Chrysler. Could be important. Chrysler? Oh, man, there's more to this case than we just assumed. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out of here. <laughs> Puts it up to his mouth. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yep, this belonged to the victim. Tastes just like her blood and skin. Overalls are stenciled HF. I wonder is it Oh, neat. I wonder what Eli does her for Her majesty. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Okay. Dying ain't much of a living, boy. Um, is that uh, is that all the evidence? Uh, there's like... a there's a phone. Really? Where? Icon on the floor or on, on oh. the floor, <laughs> on the mini map. Sure. Which happens to be on the floor in this case. Oh yeah, get that volumetric lighting through that tree. Yeah, crank the volume metric lighting. Nice. Wow. There it is. Right next to our nice little ambulance. To the ambulance mobile. It would have been great if he hit him with the ambulance. Cold <laughs> batch 1247. Yeah. Wait a second, where'd their car come from? We took the ambulance here. I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. <laughs> Rusty is the killer. Thank you. <laughs> it's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, alright, where are we going? 
head back home to the central police station. Yep. Great. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Oh! Really, really cool. Fine, Rusty. You can drive. Glad you're so enthusiastic. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. How are we gonna look driving around in a thing like this? Really cool. It's funny Great. that they bothered me. How are we gonna look getting around yeah. in this thing? That oh. camera movement was a little. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near oh. the <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And if he didn't do it, Oopsie Daisy. He cares he I hope that doesn't subtract from my score. It needs to be taken really permanently out of harm's way. Yeah. Can we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for What are you talking about, Rusty? No. We're not done investigating. Rusty, you're the most assumptive cop I've ever met. Yeah. And we've met approximately three cops. Oh man, that's great music. Better not go soft on any of your belts. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Ugh, oh, the frame rate. God. I mean, you know you made it if you got that. There we go. Uh, oh, there's two <laughs> people to interview, huh? Yeah. Um, uh, I can't talk to these guys. I guess I just go right in. So, hey, here's bud. where we stand, Hugo. You're sitting. Your next door neighbor heard You're screaming staying. coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row, and all you have to say for yourself is, "I didn't do it." Death row records. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Um, you could just be a good liar. Yeah. Not that I think you are. You, you're pretty you're bad throwing liar. away bloodstained shoes. I mean, yeah, like, pardon the pun, but you don't have a leg to stand on. Hey. Break it down, Sarah. We're not cutting this. <laughs> I'm cutting this. We're not cutting this. <laughs> the murder weapon. <laughs> I got it in the door before it closed. Nice job. We're not cutting that. I'm cutting that. No, it's staying in. <sighs> Why are you just sitting there? <laughs> Sorry, bud. I had to deal with something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading. Um, disposal Why did you burn your shoes? Hugo. Yeah, Hugo. Because I knew you'd never believe me. Well, c could you <clears throat> could you be a little more detailed? Uh, uh that doesn't like wait. What? Huh? Believe you about what? That you didn't kill her? Yeah, you're right. Size eight men's shoes are would stained with blood are the most incriminating possible evidence. Yeah. Hmm. Well, aside from, like, the tire iron literally found in the vehicle. It's interesting, it just occurred to me that this, this game takes place long before DNA uh, investigation. Yeah, no, absolutely. Was I was thinking that's, that's, um, I was thinking about why detective games are always set, like, before the era of uh, DNA analysis, because yeah. that makes cases far less interesting. Mm -hmm. At least to play. Yeah. Well, sorry, man, I'm just reviewing the evidence against you. Ace Attorney takes place with DNA evidence, but they always make it so it takes a few days for the evidence, like, for the tests to come back. That makes sense. So, like, the results are always a plot twist. So what he... What he had to say for himself was, I knew you'd never believe me, and... I swear I didn't kill her. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I feel like this that's seems a, like a doubt. doubt. Uh, be like he's not making a claim is the problem. Yeah, we we should press him for more crap. Are you going to tell me what I want to know or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? Do it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. Oh. What what the heck? I uh, guess that was true? Maybe. So weird. Okay. 
Access the to wife tire. was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. What? Oh, wait a minute. Let me review the, the not this. Um, let me review the evidence. He is a mechanic, isn't he? Yeah, well, these are his overalls stained with blood. Right. So, should we have used this as evidence against him in that first one? And called it a lie? Hmm. Maybe. Wow. Boy, it's silent in here. Do you want an intuition hey, in here? Hey, Hugo. Hey, Hugo, how are you feeling? Well, wait, 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 wait. This one, th this one is, uh, I know nothing about any tire iron. It was in your car. Yeah. Doubt it, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It was in his car. We could hit him with a lie, right? You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no, I'm not. <laughs> you got no proof. We, we actually do. I'm gonna just go in there. Might be Chevrolet, wrong, Hugo. But... What make of car do you drive? Yeah. Uh, Chrysler Airflow. So oh. I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. <laughs> nice. Access to braided rope. This one's a little harder to prove. Do you know anything about ropes? Huh. As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I was actually going to make a Boy Scout joke me. earlier, but oh, yeah. it seemed inappropriate. <laughs> um, the rope pattern was navy, right? Or go up to rope pattern, not rope. Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, what, what did he just say? Uh, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. So, uh, the exact rope used was um, how oh, weird. Rope pattern. Neither of these seem to indicate mm. the the stuff we learned about it being seemingly from the navy. Yeah. But are we looking for a sailor? Well, Boy he Scouts, said, maybe. He, maybe. Br well, br I mean, he wouldn't have kept a rope from Boy Scouts. Well, I mean, he could make a rope from Boy Scouts. That's, yeah, but I mean, this seems like a pretty advanced type of rope. To I suppose, yeah. Uh, this seems like something he would have from being a mechanic. Let me scroll up to where we met with the, um, the, the... The coroner? The, the coroner... And see what he. We're at the molester right there. Yeah. So right before that. Uh, janitor. Uh. Right here. No wait. Uh, just above. Keep going. Keep there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Yeah. Also used as bell ropes in churches. Boats. More sailor or a minister. Probably sailor. But he huh. said the army. Yeah. Which is a little different. Maybe hmm. this is an intuition one. Yeah, I think so. Because I bet it would remove lie. Okay, so oh. he's definitely not telling the truth. Well, we could have figured that out. I wonder if this is just a doubt. Oh, wow, that got rid of a lot of these. Yeah. Okay. The... the uh... uh, uh uh, this seems like it this is weird because the options were access to tire iron and the answer the the evidence to select was bloody tire iron found in your car yeah. this one was access to rope and the answer was rope found in your car but I'm willing to bet selecting this will make uh, Cole say Hey, what was that you said about being in the army? Funny. The rope pattern seemed to be uh, something military-like. Why, why are you just sitting there? Taking, taking my Your time. Wife was strangled with a braided rope, which we found in the trunk of her car. Uh-oh. I think you bought that rope specifically to strangle her. You can think whatever you want. But that rope yeah, see, I, would, I might back out of this. Can we? It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Oh, we can. Thank you. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? <laughs> <laughs> with uh, my 
bare hands, but mainly with wire. Wait, really? I yeah. learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the same one. Dude. Mm. I don't actually think he did it. I think it was... Yeah, this might have been like a really good setup. Like, oh wait, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, something just occurred to me that, 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 that makes me reconsider what I was about to say. I was going to say I think it was the pedophile because they're introducing him too late into the case for him not to be the one who did it. But, but, oh, and also, also, because he was the one in the intro cutscene, clearly because of his cat. Right. But it could have been that this guy was dressing up like that guy because he wanted to get on the school grounds and get That's away true. without anyone thinking it was him. I'm just assuming, oh, it was that creepy pedophile man. That's true. Doesn't explain the overalls, though. We were dressing as the pedophile man. That's true. That's true. Those overalls were his and were very bloody. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It was her. It wasn't me. Y it was her. Where do you keep your work clothes? Oh, okay. I keep them at work in my locker. Um, false. We found them in the trunk of your car, bud. Yeah. Overalls, right there. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. This house was broken into. No, that was a different... Oh, that was the last case. Yeah. Well, wow, these cases are too similar. Green overalls. Bloodstain with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. What the? Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too. <laughs> nice. Um. Huh. Uh. I feel like we can investigate the, or we can interrogate the other guy and yeah. then choose which one to charge. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So far, it looks like Hugo did it. Yeah, but um, but yeah, let's talk to. Let's see, where's the where 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 do I go? I'm here. Let's talk to uh, creepy guy. That you never saw. Pedo man. Oh, that's a bad superpower. <laughs> Not this. Oh, cool. Hey, the usual suspects. Have you seen that movie? No. Oh, you should watch it. It's really good. Where is he? Where do you get blocked? That's Hugo. Talk? Help me out. Let's put the squeeze on that fucking open room. Okay, where? There. Let me look at the signs. Let's see. Station for the detectives. Uh, uh, secretary's records rooms, duty sergeant. Uh, interview room. Oh, one. it's on the left, yeah. Uh, oh, cells. Really come through this interview time, room huh? one. Right here. Captain. Uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. Hmm? This particular theme is an old acquaintance. Hey, it's this guy. I love I this guy. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in the wrathful and terrible God. <laughs> Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with it. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's kill him. The captain's like so cool. Yeah. I'm so yes, sad he's going to be a villain. Um, police of employment, access to braided rope, motive for... Mo okay, the motive for the murder, I have no idea. Yeah, that seems like the last... Of course, it could be that he doesn't have one. <laughs> yeah. Place of employment. Down on your luck, Eli. Just down on some kids. Had a roadkill during the dust bowl. But you had a job. A that was a rough game. game job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. More like San Pedro. <laughs> okay, wait, what did he just say? Uh, had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. What's What could possibly be a lie about that? <laughs> Looking for something new. This seems like a doubt because we need to press him and find out exactly what the something new is. Yeah. Maybe as a mechanic. I don't know. 
we keep in mind we have three intuitions and this guy is almost certainly the last guy we're going to interview yeah i'm actually i'm still unclear on whether or not the intuitions carry from case to case they don't they don't for sure okay yeah because we used one in our last one okay and when we started this again we had another five doubt this place you work have a name hennessy marine can't miss this place, big yellow letters. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Sure. Green cover on. Wow. Oh Thank dear. It's hot, but the guy's back in the pan wearing it. Huh. Well. And Hennessy Marine. So that's like a. Oh yeah, wow. That's as high up any of your victims, Eli. It's not a nice thing to go call them that. What would you call them? I can't say. What? Children. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference okay. regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? <laughs> <laughs> any old rope. The most neutral expression. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, um, hmm. Hmm. Wow, this is a real tough one. Length of rope stained with blood found in the trunk. So it could be that he was trying to pick up uh, the daughter, and his uh, the wife showed up, and he had to kill her or something. But the the freaking daughter would have said something about that. Uh yeah, that's a, that's what I was thinking too. But maybe she didn't. Just because you know sometimes they do that. Uh, yeah, sexual but assault victims. Yeah, but speaking from like a game design perspective, she would have mentioned some. I suppose. Yeah. About it. I might be overthinking that. Yeah. I probably am. Um. This is a rock star years game. in and out of prison, son. You think you can outweigh me? You're wrong. <laughs> I kind of like this character, though. Yeah, he's well written. Um. Wow, this is tough. What exactly did he say? I've seen a lot of people posting on Twitter recently about um, how you can like a character without liking them. Yeah. They're like, you can write characters like that. Don't be. Don't be against that. Write characters that are bad people. Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. <clears throat> um, well, I mean, great example being everybody's favorite character from Sherlock being Moriarty. Uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm not saying he's my favorite character. I'm just saying, yeah. He's not example. a great character. <laughs> no, he's not. Um, God, the wire is so <laughs> Every time I think about stuff like that, I'm like, mm. Omar. <laughs> Omar, top ten TV villains. Hmm. God, Omar's good. Um. Mm. So the question was, do you use rope? Yes. Yeah. Any preference regarding rope? Nah. No. Uh, we can still intuition this. Yeah, I. Oh, but I. Oh, all right. Yeah. If it doesn't remove lie, it may remove the rope from the lie list. Oh, good thinking. Checking that. It doesn't. I'm gonna say truth. Yeah, I'd buy that. Far more likely, we lie. Must confirm a gay for roping. <laughs> What does that mean? Break, tie, hitch, and break. Stage um, tie. McGay is a type of, like, rope, but it's stringy. I think they make it out of hay or something. You okay. killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't I'm going to so. have to look that up. So ain't done not nothing sure. like that. Oh, he's lying. Huh. Oh, this is interesting. They do not make that out of hay. They make it out of... Wait a minute. How are you saying that... They make it out of the leaves of this prickly pear cactus. Cool. 
That's a weird type of rope then. Um, can I just point out how can you say you did not steal her jewelry when you had the brooch? And that's the rope that they make from it. Oh wow, it turns out good. Yeah, it's like a lasso. Neat. So seriously, he he just we just said you killed Ms. Muller and stole her jewelry, and he said I ain't done nothing like that. Excuse what are you me? talking about? You literally admitted to that. You're a liar, Eli. You needed the money, so oh, you wait. her. We did get in around some son. You got some evidence that proves I stole that butterfly from now. Oh, okay, so yeah, he's, hold on. He's working from the position that he stole the butterfly. What? Wait. He said that he picked it up in the in the parking lot. He did? Yeah. When did he say that? Like when we arrested him and he he turned out his pockets. Oh, oh. Hmm. Sorry. My mistake. Okay. I feel like this is a doubt maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to use intuition just in case there's one more thing. There probably is. Uh he wow, wow that's so suspicious. I doubt that. You have no job. And nowhere to live by the smell of things. Ooh. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car Whoa. coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. See... I don't think he did this. That changed into coveralls thing is so specific and true. Like, that would make sense. Man got changed there. Yeah, I saw that car come into the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there, then put his coveralls in the trunk. Dropped the butterfly. Strolled out cool as you like. I don't know. What do you think? This is really tough. I, think, I see why people didn't like this case. Yeah. I feel like um, the husband did. Yeah. He was a much worse liar on the whole. Yeah. Eli... Eli is suspicious and the rope and the coveralls tie him to it. Mm -hmm. But we don't have a motive. And he's yeah. not a. He doesn't seem like a violent person, really. No. He, well, he's. He he's he a pedophile. He's, I don't see what he why he would want to murder someone. Yeah, and steal one brooch. Yeah. But the husband. He didn't take the he didn't take the the ring or watch or anything. That's true. Yeah, I'm gonna You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. Did you charge him? No. Okay, so that was really... That sounded like charging. It did. No, I just left the investigation. Hmm. Well, this is tough, but... Uh, you hang a right here. Yeah, thanks. And then you hang a left. Uh, it does seem like... It seems like him. Yeah, I, w I would charge him as well. I'm not saying I'm not a fan until I've seen him. Too bad for you, cause you're getting you're going to jail. <laughs> you're going, going to jail. jail. You with the murder of your wife, you'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. Book him, Rusty. <laughs> Book him, Rusty. You can burn in hell, Hugo. <laughs> Boy, I hope that was right. Let's see. Unless they both did it, maybe. <laughs> oh, that'd be silly. We'll see. Hopefully they tell us. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure how we would know. I have know. to say I'm disappointed. What? I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Oh, no! Seriously? We made the right choice, but it's going to blow up in our face like that. Arm full of Excuse me. Made the department look bad now. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals. Rouse them. Beat them and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come and you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! What? No, I guess not. 
So that was the wrong choice? I, I guess so. That seemed a little too aggressive to not just be a story beat. That seemed like you did it wrong. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's so weird. Two out, two out of five. So yeah, we definitely got that wrong. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna go look at the wiki. Wow, that's so weird. I like how one of my last Google searches was new funky mode. <laughs> um, Way to date this video, huh? <laughs> a little bit. Okay, the golden butterfly. Uh, detailed walkthrough. I'm going to skip all the way to the end. Oh, I skipped too far. Uh Huh. Yeah. You uh you intervi intervi <laughs> Jesus. Interview Eli Rooney and after you finish interrogating him, charge him with first degree murder. I see I I feel like uh Huh. That's disappointing to me because I was actually really interested in the angle of the of the police chief telling you off for disappointing the public for not imprisoning the pedophile yeah. even if he wasn't the one who did it. Because that's a totally realistic scenario. Yeah. The public freaking hates pedophiles and doesn't care if they did it or not. A lot of people do. Yeah. I'm going to take a look at that game facts thing. See what they said. The case feels broken. I, pers <laughs> I personally believe neither suspects were guilty. Eli was just a nobody that could have easily have been pinned, that could easily have had everything pinned on. Hugo qualified for all the evidence, but he lacked motive. If anyone was guilty, I'd, I'd would have gone with Hugo, but the captain gets pissed and you only get three stars for the case. Two for us because we didn't get all the clues in it. I wonder. Weird. And somebody else wrote, I'm still hating it a few cases later. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, we're not alone. So I don't mind it. Let's, let's go to the Silk Stocking Murder. Swede, you're, that was the name of the, uh, the OP. You're 100% right. I just got done with the mission myself, and I feel cheated. The obvious answer is that neither are guilty. Neither suspect had a motive. Uh, Eli is a pedophile and his profile just doesn't fit. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Hugo was only violent once with his wife in over 15 years and he was obviously telling the truth about the rabbits? I feel like that's evidence we missed. Yeah, must have and was willing to take a lie detector test. Yeah. It's yes, weird. the most basic of evidence could be easily applied to either suspect, but I felt like the defining factor was the murder weapon, which just so happened to be from the same model car Hugo drives. Yeah. It just made a little more sense to me that the charges would stick best on Hugo and someone else had to take the fall for the murder. And I get three stars for trying to be as accurate as possible. Yeah. I had done every interrogation perfectly up to that point, <laughs> found all the evidence, didn't hurt anyone, didn't damage my car, and didn't damage city property. <laughs> I thought I had the perfect score coming. Wow. Yep, all right. No reason to feel bad. Yeah, I don't feel bad. It looks like we're not alone in thinking that that one kind of sucks. Oh, we're not showing the crime. <laughs> the crime is those legs. How babe. well, how well we were doing? Yeah, really? That's you're there. singing a different tune. Get all about. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. What about the stockings? Another naked woman, sir? Yes. She seemed to have had quite a run from since the Dahlia Green first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendez case is over. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. You win some, and you lose some at least one. Wow. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, like the But the motive. Get out there and catch me notice. What about breakfast, sir? See the the, <laughs> the cracks are starting to show here, aren't they? In, in what do you mean? In him? Or yeah. The, okay. I thought you meant the game. <laughs> no. Well, sort of. 
Just that last case, but... Yeah, I know what you mean. Cleaner, richer, and bolder. The taste you go this of one? camel cigarettes. Is this Please car? your T-Zone. Hit that streetcar! Yeah, do it. You have the address. Do it, Rusty. Oh! <laughs> race! 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 This is the opposite central station. Count yourself lucky. You're so fast, Rusty. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. No, that ain't a bad idea. That slang that needs to come back. Hooch. Hooch. Rock and roll hoochie coo. No parking. I remember that hey, advertisement. Show. No parking. I'll take you through. That advertisement was on a wall that we did that chase scene on in the first murder case. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So we're near the first murder case. All these are oh, for closely sake. grouped together, huh? Brothers, Pinker. Pinker. Christ Christ sake. Death is pretty apparent. Stop it. You tell me best way for you. When you're ready. Uh huh. But what about the silk stockings? There they are. Uh huh. Floppy. <laughs> she took a blow to the head like the others. She was These belong to her right. sweet gams. I, uh, nothing else to investigate. She wait, wait, wait. What did he just say? Uh, if she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious. Cole's like, I didn't know I had this fetish. Jesus. Uh, more, <laughs> more freaking miscellaneous. Well, what about that thing? That looks suspicious. That looks like aluminum foil. Oh, it's, that a a, it's a cigarette carton. No, that's, that's oh, stockings. Oh, tissues. Oh, tissues. Okay. What the heck? That's Who leaves the tissue box <laughs> in the park? Or wherever we are. Oh, there's the hearse. Climb in there, take a nap. <laughs> you wake up and... Huh? <laughs> In the morgue, like, whoa. What is this? Another, another... That's another, uh, um, cigarette, or a cigarette. Matchbook. Yeah. Those, there are so many a of those. A solo cup. What the heck is it? A shoehorn? Seems like part of a car. What is that? That's no so idea. weird. That looks like a shoehorn. Why didn't Phelps say anything about it? Can I... I can't investigate further. That really looks like a shoehorn. <laughs> yeah, weird. I don't know. Huh. Um, handbag. Oh, we can't. Oh, that must be the the. the yeah, corners. I think that belongs to the corner. What the heck? Public library. Wow, well, I thought that said Altoona. Like that's Why a Wisconsin library card. Did he want us to find it? Oh, flies! I didn't notice those before. Hmm. What a detail. This murder is probably older than the last ones. Kiss the blood, BD. Oh. One. Another ring! Dun, dun, dun. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. Ow! I'm scanned under the fingernails. That one looks awful. Yeah, that one, that one is, uh... No skin under brutal. the fingernail? No skin under the fingernail? What does that mean? Uh, like if she were clawing or... Or had been clawing at at the suspect or whatever. Oh, like there yeah. might be skin samples under the. That's that's interesting. Wait, oh, it's so it's weird that the the, the the golden butterfly was so similar to these cases because it's completely unrelated. Yeah. Observations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Yeah. Ah. Ow. Oh, I thought that was in game, but that's flux, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Nope. 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 Is that bone? On the finger? Yeah. Kiss Probably. the blood. BD. BD. We still don't know, have any lead on what BD means. Okay, that's Black weird. Dahlia? The evidence in the model oh, case oh, was you're solid. Jesus. I'm convinced I'm about Mendes. Best way to get away with murder Black is pinned on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Another it's one, you think? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the ammo. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. That's right, that's the last die. case. Still Wait, no, that's not what the last case was. Apparently it wasn't. Four women. What a great case. All put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. 
Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Head injuries from contact with road. Ouch. Bruising from a small man's shoe. Further blood force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Why are never justified his shoes? The other cases. That's true. See if I can and also, brand. I feel like that copycat thing is a bit of a cop-out because they would all have to know about the shoe size thing. Right? Yeah, you're right. May as well follow the trail. Oh, you think? Makes sense. Kick the box. Kick open the door. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I... Can I not? What the... Oh, there's... Oh, it's a hat. It's the hat from the first cutscene. Is come it? Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, something yeah. in the hat. I, I... Antonia. Oh, wait. No, it... Same as the library it's not? Record. Oh, no, it's not. I'm wrong. Uh, it's just a woman. weird woman's hat. I thought As it was. They all are. Well, I remember co commenting uh, in the first cutscene where they showed the uh, the werewolf. Yeah. In, in the moonlight. That uh, werewolf thing never led anywhere. That was um, a weird thing to say. Uh, well, the werewolf is who these people are all the theoretically copycatting. He's you the one who did the thing six months ago and then went silent. Oh, so Black Dahlia may be unrelated. I, or unclear. a new development. I'm unclear on what Black Dahlia is. is yeah. That, is, that, is that a killer? I don't know. They've been they've been dropping that. And I saying the Black Dahlia. Yeah, I kind of don't want to look it up because... That's, no, that's I don't want to either. On the page. Um, I think we're good here. Do we have a location? No, Just the crime scene. So there must be something else around there. Or maybe I got a call. I would rather we discuss this later, Phelps. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay can, can, can we discuss this later? Can we discuss it now? We're at the crime scene. It seems pertinent. <laughs> No, I'd rather not. Hey, hey man, can we discuss this now? Wait, is this important? That guy was looking at these. He doesn't say anything about it. Phelps! At least tell me they're not important. Maybe the tissues. It's a really weird thing to find. It's so huge. Yeah. It reminds me... Uh, it reminds me of something you'd find in Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. Well, it does look like it, doesn't it? Okay, I've searched everything. Where do I go? I can't... Why can't I open this door that clearly has blood all over it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. So, okay. Why isn't the library a location to go to? Hmm. Oh, probably because I have to call in. Is there a There's phone? No, no telephone on the mini map. Oh. Yeah, I gotta go all the way back up here since the car is back up. Oh wait! There's more blood! Oh God dang it! Were you already following it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see Yeah, okay. That So that's So this weird. is where he said from contact with the road. She was she was being like pulled all the way down here. Yeah, wow, Jesus Christ. Uh, Check the trash can. Yeah. A yeah. shoe. A cup. Wait, no, it's another one of these. Are they? They probably are shoe horns. You don't need those for heels, though, do you? Uh, Proximity to the scene plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. Maybe if you have an eight eight foot size shoe. Possibly. <laughs> eight foot size shoe <laughs> implying it's eight feet long. You don't have two shoehorns though. That's true. Weird. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Thank Just you. Check it out. That's very kind of you. Huh? 
Oh, oh, oh. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. What? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> what does that mean? You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that's where he's the son of a bitch. Oh, jeez. It's a game. It's a game and we're playing it. He's toying with us. Hello. A note from the killer. Hello, Cole. Oh my god! Dominoes. Cipher. Wait, no, dice. Oh, it's a code. Oh, it's dot patterns. It's definitely dice. I'm, I'm confident you're right about that. God, yeah, what a madman. Well, blood leads up this way. I bet, I bet those, those, um, the God! <laughs> Can we stop doing this? Is this is some David Cage stuff right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I bet those dots are there like a code go. for a, for a lock. Like on a suitcase or something. A suitcase um, or a briefcase. I'm willing to bet that's the killer's calling card. This uh, is suspicious. If it were, it would have been at other scenes, right? Maybe this is the first one actually by him. Oh, perhaps. Is this the way? Yeah, it is. Wow, this is so clearly a setup. Holy cow. A bar of chocolate. A <laughs> soap thing. Delicious. No, oh, it's makeup. Enameled and gold plating. This was precious to her. A makeup case? Yeah. Weird. Criminy. This is pretty it, elaborate. No, it doesn't end here. Keep going. Wow. This killer's out of his mind. <laughs> He's lost his marbles. This Breath of the Wild music. <laughs> You're kind of right, though. Oh, what's that in the corner? Dynamite. That's me in the spot. Oh, it's her purse! Oh. Is, is this a joke? <laughs> Seriously, is the killer toying with us? I don't know. Probably. Oh, it's the other half of the library card. Oh, okay. So, bitch wants her identified. Yeah. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado. That's why we didn't get a location yet. Street, yeah, for this. Checks out. Okay. Is there anything else in there? No, oh. I guess not, because Cole just closed it for me. Oh, hey, dude! <laughs> I've been watching you. Uh, the game just, just teleported me. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Not to the library, I guess. The residence of Antonio Mandola. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. <laughs> Get in, we close the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question you were tried and... Rusty's razor was wrong last guy. time, apparently. But doesn't the game mm -hmm. require sound casework before he'll close the book? He's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Like getting punched in the face by that one dude. Yeah. This is Belladonna. <laughs> huh. Her house was a hotel? Uh, she could have been having tenants in there. Yeah. Well, I mean, like this, a... would, this would seem to indicate, like, like, anyone off the street can come in. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that's how you you could use. That used to be pretty common, like have tenants. Really? Yeah, like a boarding house. Yep. That's a. Uh, that's in Forrest Gump. That's what his mom did. Oh. You remember? No, I didn't remember. That. Oh, that's like a, a thing she did. Okay. That's why Elvis was in in his house Sorry. that one time. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lapente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Yeah, like a family would live there, in, and then they just take and discuss the random people stay with us. Okay. I'll admit you into the parlor. Oh, well, she seems wipe your feet nice. If yeah. Just oh, wipe your feet! Oh, oh, can I do that? Oh. I want to do that. You, you must have already done camera. it off camera, because Cole is a nice guy. He wouldn't, he wouldn't... He would not wipe his feet for this lovely old lady. You're right. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, the fire is burning. Oh, my God. Oh. Wow, that's a great video game fire. That looks really nice. 
That looks like this is Maldonado. A theme you buy on the PlayStation Store. Dead. Yeah. Oh no, she can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, oh. ma'am. Cool we need baby. to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. What? We're gonna go we're check her. Yeah, we're going this way. Freaking Rusty. Rusty's what stupid. Are we waiting for it's all that drinking he's been doing. What are you talking? What are we waiting for? What are you talking about? I'm the one going upstairs. Uh, is six, right? Uh, last door on the left. Oh, yeah, so, sure. Five. Well, oh. Sure, everyone has a gold doorknob. Dice! You look at that. Really? Not Someone turned the place over. Whoa! That's a this serious. This real life super footage super is super jarring super and unnecessary. Charm bracelet. Wait, what? What did he just say? It wasn't at the crime scene. Ah. Uh, uh. So, another piece of missing jewelry. Can I look at this a little less closely? Well, Who's the, the, the guy? bracelet is clearly the thing we're looking Who's for. Who's the guy, though? Her husband. Yeah, why didn't Phelps comment on that? Because it doesn't tell us who he is. I guess. Uh huh. Wow. Uh, well, um, Further to my previous correspondence of August 7th, I am writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, will be here heard on September 17th. I'm told that your husband, Angel Christopher Maldonado, okay, residing at Yada Yada Hill Street, Los Angeles, California, has been served with the official papers and is on notice to appear at the Central District Court on the above date. Though it is not essential, and many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you to appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. Oh! In my experience, a woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this one can do much to influence proceedings. If your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me is likely, then it can only help our chances. Well, Rusty's razor is off to a good start. Yeah, no kidding. He didn't do it, though. Yeah. Probably. Now we always blame the guy that isn't here. Oh! Ooh. The smashed window explains why the glass is lost. It. Yeah, the glass is on the inside, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's doing that automatically. Nice. Can I not? Look at that there. A what? magic wand. <laughs> this is from Harry Potter's wiz Someone's wizarding world. This thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. That looks a like a fence. Yeah, that looks like a fence. A picket. They called it a, an iron picket. Yep. Like a picket fence. Huh. Wonder how no one noticed that uh, <laughs> that window's broken. Wonder when it happened. Um. We got a. Did we get a new uh, location? Yeah, we got the Maldonado residence. So she was staying at this apartment, yeah. but there's a house where her husband. This is this is just like the other case where she's living with, or living separate from her husband. Well, that was her husband living separate from. Her. True, that's true. But it is just like it. Uh, anything else? I'm just gonna smash this window. With the sink. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. You could talk to the lady again. Now. Oh, that, yeah, you're that right. That very kind old lady. Yes. She's obviously the killer. Can you imagine? She had. She has to be. We have She's the only suspect. Time. You're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Come back, Dave. Oh. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Malvinado? That rat of her husband. That piece of rat. <laughs> Angel. Serving him divorce papers. If I killed ah, every wife that's that served these papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? <laughs> oh. I like her. Alright, uh... 
Wow, we've got a lot of evidence already. So uh, wait, uh, what did she just say? Um... If I killed every wife that served me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. <laughs> Jesus, Rusty. Uh, that seems super true. That seems super true. Tell us about Angel Maldonado. She married him when she was 17. If you know what it I mean. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. A little on the religious side. But a good girl. Okay. Cool. Did she have full use of her arms and legs? <laughs> Stare off into the what distance. Time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. Uh, she was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Hmm. Oh, look uh, at her eyes. It seems a little like a doubt. I feel like that's a doubt. Yeah. Probably went to angels. Act like you know God, do about cold. Live under oh. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. Cool. Been drinking quite a lot lately. Another drinker. I, I mean, joked about that. Bar. El Dorado Lodge. A Latino place on North Los Angeles. Who call her a hag? That's yeah. A couple of blocks I'm sad that that bar. was the correct answer. I'm very upset at Cole now. Yeah. She seems like a nice lady. Um, evidence of break-in. Had a break-in? Yeah. No. No. Oh, this is so, Come on. Look at her eyes. She's doing that same thing again where she looks this down is, at the floor. This is a doubt. That's a doubt, huh? Not a lie. She, she, she would hear that. Breaking glass? Yeah. Let me She's a nosy old hag. That's a lie, and it's the broken window. You think? I believe so. I mean... Well, I mean, like, you would hear something like that, right? Smashing a yeah, window? Yeah, alright, I'll go with that. Well, let me use intuition, actually. Well. You can do it. Yeah, seems. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I feel like broken window. You're being economical with the truth. Mr. Economical with the truth! What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Yeah, what do you have to hide, eh? So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. You're right. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bar. A raccoon broke in the window. <laughs> it would be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Ah. That's a good motivation. That is a good motivation. Um. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. Yeah. They were very she strange. She moved here after she separated from her husband Odd two people. months ago. But Antonia still two wore a wedding ago. ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. We didn't find that on her. Yeah. That's about all of her jewelry. Um. A charm bracelet. Good point. Good yeah, point. Yeah, look at her eyes. Yeah. That's um, another lie, isn't it? Yeah, alright. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything oh. about her bracelet. What about the photograph? What about the photo? Old lady. You old hag. I don't like her anymore because she's lying. <laughs> yeah. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Wooden jewelry box. Thanks, Pam. You've been very helpful. Yes. Pay a call to that husband of hers. With a little pushing. Lock him up and throw away the cape. Now, can you go back up we can either and see if the that wooden jewelry box is there? there. Or we can um, check out the old now that we know. I don't think it is. I'll check. I don't know. That might be like... Look, Phelps. Hey, Cole. Get moving. One sec, dude. I feel right like there. I feel like that's not going to be important or anything. No. Uh, Teddy bear. No. The killer. <laughs> it's always the one you least suspect. It's always the cute ones. <laughs> oh, hey, dude! I thought you were at the car. Oh, cool beans. Yeah. 
Nice work. Uh, where's our car? <laughs> Whistle for it. There it is. Okay. Hey, nice music. Can you drive to this one? Play some Glenn Miller. Um, I love that swing music. Where should we go? Uh, bar or her husband's? It seems like the husband will have some kind of like finality. Yeah, it will trigger something. Yeah, I trigger, would imagine. Yeah, trigger something or other. I don't imagine the bar is exactly like a grand finale. In case we go down. Know the old hag? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said it, Rusty. You have to be yeah. armed to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that <laughs> Okay. You old hag. Whoa. Wow. Is that the Red Dead Redemption font? I w no, that's the Devolver Digital font. I was about to say it's the Devolver Digital font. That's so weird. LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. I was just playing Gungeon this morning. <laughs> you worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Probably Didn't same guy. We have a woman in here last night, yeah, 21 really. years old, Hispanic, <laughs> drinking heavily. We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. But what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh. Was <laughs> <laughs> you know she a regular? <laughs> Hell. Ooh. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in the bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. Well! I'll show you. Thanks! This guy seems very helpful. Yeah. Oh, you had it in your pocket? No, he pulled it from underneath the bar. Oh, yeah. Well, this is, uh... Inter by hand. Uh, like, delivered by hand? Oh, yeah, I guess... Oh, oh, divorce okay. papers? Yeah, it's the, uh... Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it, waving the letter around, said she was gonna show him. Hmm. Where's Antonia? Oh, I keep hearing Antonio, but I guess it is Antonia. Maldonado did yeah. on the 8th... Uh... No additional info. Oh, wait, Okay. Well, that's that's simple enough. What? Oh, we were. I guess we're interviewing him now. Cool. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. Checks out. The temp guy would have more of an idea. Oh yeah. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Ah. Uh, mm hmm. Why would you lie about this, son? Uh, well, yeah, I sincerely doubt we have anything. Yeah, I don't think we do. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Reluctant? Huh. Okay. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. Okay. Uh -huh. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Mm -hmm. The best kind of courage. Oh, uh, that seems super true. Yeah, I don't, I don't doubt that. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. <laughs> Been a big help. Yes. No problem. Now to hey, find that temp guy. Get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? Good question. A broad nine. I have white feet. Female nine, huh? You ought to meet those <laughs> Small feet. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Best joke ever. <laughs> what do you think? I got it. Uh, uh. What the? Sir, do oh. you work here? Hey, dude. Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just picked Fruit Market across the street. Oh. Fruit Market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The max is level and sliced with the tequila. Checks out. Fine. Thanks. What? What was the point of that? Why did they... What? 
Why did they bother to do a cutscene for that? Well, we are investigating the fruit market, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. But that didn't add any evidence to our case file. Just picked fruit market. That's where Antonia went to call for a cab last night. Okay. True. I wonder, I wonder if the idea here is that if we hadn't gotten that information out of him, that, um, that meeting there would have had him say, hey, let's ask the fruit market guys. Yeah, maybe. Like maybe a, a safety net. Maybe. In case you goof that. The door is, is um, very open and very, very, like, inviting. Yeah. So. I wonder where that tent is, though. <sighs> yeah, that's what I was trying to find. There doesn't seem to be any management offices or anything. Cigarette machine, nice. Where the heck is the... I guess the management offices are there, they're just locked. I guess that's what this is. Where do we go now? Wait a minute, this is the freaking... Is this the crime scene? No. No, it's not. Okay. I saw Just a similar crappy looking alley. And from a distance, the trash on the ground looked like more blood stains. Oh, yeah. I was like, what the heck? Is the temp one of the people? Um, I would doubt it, but uh, oh. worth checking. I'll, I'll oh, check. I meant like in our in our investigation. Oh. Uh, whoops. Maybe. No. This is the this is this guy. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. I suppose he could be one I of the guys. I guess we gotta go to this guy's place. Yeah, just just do another once over, like all the people sitting at the tables, yeah. just in case one of them's the guy we need to talk to. Definitely. Olive oil comes from olive. Where's baby oil come from? <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Great. What a strange... Oh, this girl looks kind of important. Yeah. Oh. I can't talk to her. She's just staring at a wall. Okay. I asked for advice. He doesn't have any. Screw you, Rusty. Want to check out the fruit market? Yeah, let's go. Is this it? This is a big fruit market. Yeah, that doesn't look like a fruit market. Maybe that's it. Excuse me, princess. Oh, it's the guy again. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Just pick the market. Great. We'll need to come back later, fellas. Break in. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. <laughs> what? For real? I like his just little... <laughs> what? That's it? All right. Oh, he has nothing to say. His lips are sealed. Say something once, I'll say it again. Sorry, Rusty. This is my life now. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Where do you think, man? <laughs> to the fruit, fruit market. market. This <laughs> is the place. <laughs> you drive. Why are you trying to buy stuff. evidence at the fruit right. store? <laughs> Classic. Classic. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. He doesn't swing that way, so I imagine he would. I know I would. One thirty-eight p.m. It's not beer thirty yet, but soon. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh, you're right. Look at that system font. Like that's a that's a Microsoft Word font. Yeah. All these look like Word fonts. Yeah. Yeah. God, they put too much work into this game. Just enough. Yeah. They obviously didn't put it into the shooting mechanics. Well, it could be worse.
worse. It could be worse. It could be Mass Effect 1. Ah. I was going to say PS2 game. Same thing, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, PS2 games had better shooting than Mass Effect 1. Oh, God. It is not good so shooting. Wait, wait, wait. It was 304, so that'd be on level 3, right? Yeah. Well, this could oh. turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Kick <laughs> the door open, dude! It's the best! Ugh! I love the feeling of kicking a door open! It's exhilarating. Look at the other guy. Don't put the gun away, idiot! Why would you do that? Punch him. Sick him. This is like the beginning of Uncharted 3. Ooh. Yes, it is. That was a nice duck and... Ooh! Grapple him! Give him a tombstone! Oh, yeah, boy! Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> there goes your hat. I'm trying to... Uh. Yeah! Ooh, brutal. <laughs> nice. Oh, hey, hey, excuse me? Get out of here. Ow. Oh my god. I thought he was gonna put his head through the radio. Damn. Yikes! Got some decent shots in there. Damn. Cut these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Oh, uh, this is gonna Call go wrong. back up, Finbar. Finbar. Call for some backup, Sinbad. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the FBI. Something else is happening here, huh? North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Sinbad. He's gonna get shot through a window. The wife has been murdered, nope. Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? He looks weird without a hat. Yeah. I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! What were you doing with your brother? My own wife? Well, you were awful to her, supposedly. Yeah. Well, figured the whole place is going over. Then talk to the neighbor. Yeah. Hey, what? Um. Well, huh. I don't care. This case isn't adding up. It's a weird one. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at all this. Uh, that looks like religious stuff to me. Yeah, and I was just thinking that. Oh man, the paintings are a great detail. I really like them, yeah. This whole game has just really good detail. set design. Yeah. And I say that, but obviously they're not sets. But No, but you're right. That's the right term, I think. It's, hey, like, a, it's like Alien Isolation had really good area design. Well, do you mean level, like, level design? No, no, I mean like making places feel like they're real. Okay. Like lived in. Then I would call that set design. Yeah. Even in the game. Yeah. Uh, Isolation had that. System Shock 2 had it. People underestimate the power of good set design. Yeah. System Shock yeah. 1 kind of had it. So Just a little bit. The but that was more in level design. What if Angel gets all his groceries from this place? Uh oh. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. That didn't add any clues. Weird. Oh! Yeah, wow, look at that. Devolver <laughs> Digital. Must be a family favorite. Hmm. Sorry, Angel. Looks like you're not the golden boy! Holy crap, okay. This will take some explaining. Definitely. No wonder they tried to fight. Um, Just put your hands all over that. <laughs> yeah, doesn't seem to be... Well, we, we're not at risk of getting DNA messed up. Yeah, puts his... Puts the sleeve up to his mouth. That doesn't yep, seem that's to the be victims. Else. Um, Blood flavor matches the victims perfectly. Maybe one of the neighbors. That would be a great, weird hook for, like, a supernatural, uh, or not even a supernatural thing. Like, just a detective series, but the main character is, like, a ridiculous super taster. <laughs> Jesus, Sorry, what? I, I'm playing with my kid. <clears throat> like, he's a super taster, and he's LAPD. like, yep, this <laughs> yeah. tastes exactly night. like the victim's yeah. blood. <laughs> my, uh, 
wife and I are separated. And uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they made that cutscene, even though it has no point. That's really good. That's a great cutscene. Hello. LAPD. It's that woman again. You're a disturbance the last night. Yes. Rapid editing. It's that same face. You're right. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what an awkward... Oh my god, everything about that was awkward. No. I didn't. I'm executing restraint right Ooh. now. Finbar. So um, mad. Oh wait, this one like two. No good. Nobody here. Wow. They put a bunch of work into this. Came for some with reason. neighbors. Oh. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Oh, okay. The fact that he works nights, nights is a really, uh, it's a cute excuse for why he wouldn't have heard anything. Mm-hmm. Operator, message. Oh, I just wanted to go back briefly, hit the rewind button, now? use my stand to go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and address the fact that saying he wasn't the golden boy was a joke about how El Dorado comes That's from the phrase me. golden man. Oh, yeah. I, no one would ever get that. That joke was too sophisticated for my tiny Neanderthal that's brain. Oh, that's a bad joke. <laughs> Your very I, educated <laughs> reference. Uh, okay, wait, whoa, 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 whoa review the log. Uh, your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new wow. letter from the Dahlia Killer has been found. I guess that explains okay. what the Black Dahlia is. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So you see, you'd only like... catch that joke or that reference if you've never had a drink in your life because you need that many brain cells. <laughs> After that, it's no good. Like, oh, Golden Boy. I'm like, oh, yeah, anime. There's no... No, it's a bad joke. There's no explicit pun <laughs> set up in punchline. <laughs> oh, yeah, I watch anime, too. Hey, you know what's a freaking weird movie? Road to El Dorado. It is. I only watched it like once. Yeah. Can you drive to this one? Um. Are we going? Well, that's the one with the, the that the uh, the dude with the loot gift comes from. The Dylan. Yes. Movie. Yeah. Okay. That's at the very start of the movie. That's gonna be very confusing for the audience. The one where he's playing the loot very quickly and it's like a perfectly looping gift. Yeah. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I'm <laughs> No big deal. After a while, he just numbed himself. Oh, Rusty. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. Who would hurt his sense of who he is? He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. My God. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Is he gonna hit that car? Oh, shame. I thought he was about to rear end him. He's a killer and a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the person in the car directly in front of them for just not paying attention on the road. Hmm. Uh, Captain's waiting for you downstairs. Oh, my favorite soon-to-be villain. Wait. Uh, I really hope I'm wrong about that. Yeah, me too. Tech services. Thank you. That's clearer than just downstairs. Uh, you gonna go downstairs and see Donnelly or what? Yes! Shut up! I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll get roasted. What? I what, uh, what are you talking Let's about? The paper. It's not that big case. <laughs> hey, remember that good line? It's the, the guy from the papers who solved that big case. <laughs> Where the heck? Hey, you're that Spider-Man I've been I, hearing about on the news. I guess I just follow him. Receiving console. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'll just follow. Him. Oh, there's downstairs. Excuse me, I was trying to go around you? <laughs> hey, the game is dragging me behind him. Good. Oh, I can't run. Okay. 
Why is he Boys. even... What the? Come on in. Fellas. Have you met Dennis Brown? No. Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was hmm. left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. Hmm. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like Good. the previous <laughs> letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then okay. glued to an envelope. What is the okay. other note? This beep, one? Beep, beep. That's also new. A poem. Hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. You've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Oh, uh, yeah, remember fingerprints? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Deep upon thy soul oh, by virtue of this curse, thou jeest be thou damned for holding good. With infinite as is the universe, and thou and thy self-torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power, though now thou sittest lest the hour Come when thou must appear to be. Then Let the hour come. Oh. The, though na though oh, now thou though sayest, now Let thou the hour come yeah. when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally, and after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless time and space. Space. <laughs> time. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty broad. I've changed my mind. That's the message for the what? Henry case. Would you would not give a square deal? What? What did Pope say? That's is the this? message from the Celine Henry case. Are they um is this two people like discussing through dead women? <laughs> Oh my god! Huh? That's why we called you in. Oh, you think that's it's original? Not unless he's a genius. <laughs> you like this nut job poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Okay. Sure, I knew that. <laughs> yeah. You're so cultured. Told you this lot why did they life bother life? to cut to sure, a Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan. A superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Baltimore case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. All right, then. No time to dawdle. On it, Captain. This way. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea, like, like head cannon. Cole Phelps never knows where anything is, even yeah. in his own police department. <laughs> Every single time he has to check the sign. <laughs> He's terrible with directions. Get out of the way, Rusty. Dude. You got to drive every time. <laughs> You're right, Angel. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. I don't suspect this guy. He was acting super legit. Yeah. So your wife paid you a visit sense. last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. Uh, hmm. That seems like a doubt. I don't know about this. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it. So if you didn't kill your wife, who did? You better come up with something, Angel. This doesn't look good. Oh, boy. Fuck you. I love my <laughs> That was wrong. <laughs> You're good, kid. Murder your wife. And just sit there as cool as a cucumber. Huh? No, that was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Wrong. So that was a lie? Or true? It might have been true. Jeez. He's getting angry. I like he's still got blood on his face from the from the fighting. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. You always wore yeah. That's super true. I don't I don't doubt that. Well wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. we talked to that lady. 
the, the old lady. The lady said she was wearing it too. Yeah, okay. Just necklace. Worn habitually. And the uh, the bartender did too. What about yeah. the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. Checks out with the, the old hag. She didn't like the message. Kept it locked up in that box of her. What box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is that wooden box? Yeah. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Freaking, you're so wrong, dude. Uh, yeah, what about the divorce papers? What is this alibi? The neighbor testified that Angel was pursuing Antonia from the apartment building. That's an important detail. We gotta remember that. Whoa. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. I told you. Wait, he wouldn't accept a divorce, so... I think it is just the divorce papers. I'll try it. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me and her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. That checks out. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. Uh, me. Dun dun dun. You see, do you see Rusty do a little hand gesture? Like, yeah. There you go. I like how Rusty is kind of interacting with yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah, I liked when he walked up behind the dude. And that he reacted and made a little hand gesture like, hey, back off, bud. Yeah, it's, um, Your it's something Stefan didn't do so mm -hmm. as far as I remember. Your shirt being covered in blood. You found that? I cut myself shaving. Freaking come wow. on! All right, but, what, like, what, do we have any evidence against that? I don't think so. We don't have that much blood from cutting yourself shaving. Yeah. Would it get on that part of your arm? I guess it would. Yeah, I suppose it would, it would get... yeah. Well, well, this is another thing we could we could easily find out. Like is he cut right now? Oh. Yeah. He doesn't look like it. Well, besides that I mean, that yeah, punch to the face. Yeah, which that's that's definitely a punch cut. Yeah. Uh, Slash. I think that's a doubt. We don't Unless have any... he's talking about his head. You're staring at me like that. Oh, sorry, mm. dude. I think you would use a trimmer for that. Yeah. Or a pair of scissors. But he specifically said shaving. Yeah. Um. Weird that we haven't gotten to use this information yet. Um. Necklace, iron pick. Oh, yeah. What the heck's the deal with that? I don't know. Broken window, divorce papers, uh, charm bracelet photograph, library card, dot pattern note. Key. Hmm. Small key marked with number five. I don't want to feel like blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, well, we have reviewed all the evidence, and I don't see anything that explicitly goes against I cut myself shaving. So this seems like a doubt. I think it's a doubt. Well, I'm going to use intuition on this just, to, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, if a leader. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a soccer one. We got into it. <laughs> Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. What a liar! I used to buy fruit at the market down the street. Well, that could have been her. Uh, the uh, was always running his eyes all over my life. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ford Street downtown. Yeah. One last question, Angel. 
Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Now wait, I gotta review the log, holy crap. Okay. She said she came to, from the El Dorado bar. That's correct, of course, we talked to the bartender. Well, her brother obviously works at that fruit market, right? Hippolyta? I, no, no, maybe not. Uh, I don't know where you're getting that, so I don't, I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, I suppose he does. The El Dorado's not one of my places, which is a weird thing to say because he had the... Could have been his wife's, though. Why would she leave, like, a half-used matchbook? I don't know, whatever. They did in a lot of cases. I guess, yeah. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street, but the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. Oh. That's the important note I, I missed. Same with this fruit market, just picked fruit. Uh, one last question. Do the words... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Guess we're going back to the just picked fruit. Now that we have more information... Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Boy, it's nice that they cross stuff off your list. Yeah, it is. You know the way. We can drive. Cole, not the wheel man, Phelps. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. Letters? Robin Hansen believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. Huh. I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. What if it's a guy? You seen the body? Fucking cased his nose away through guts. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut in the fucking sidewalk. Language. Christ. Hollywood sucks, man. <laughs> This is the opposite of La La Land. <laughs> yeah. La La Land was freaking stupid. L.A. Noir was the best movie of 2016. Mulholland Drive all the way. The most accurate depiction of Hollywood ever. Mulholland Drive. Yeah. 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 Actually, I as I understand it, that's a big part of the reason why that movie is praised so much. Because I was confused when I watched it. I was like, uh, this movie kind of sucks a little bit. No, uh, Hollywood does. Well, yeah. It was only when I read the 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 praise for it, I realized, oh, it's because critics who care no. about film yeah. are, appreciate the indictment. Of, of the opposite of, sense. of La La Land, basically. Yes. Just don't know how to dance yes. <laughs> Which, it's funny because people are, people in Hollywood love La La Land too. They Sorry, do. Yeah. Wait. You look familiar. People just like movies. Back it's that guy from earlier. Yes. The, bar, right? the creep, I presume. Who brings you yeah. here. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feedy. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? Twenty-one years old. Is that short for sure something? Came by last night. Why no. do you ask? Clemen? Clemens? That's a last name. Mm, I'm pretty sure Clem is a, just a, a name. <sighs> okay. Necklace. Was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Um. Hmm. What do we have against this guy? What the heck? Clement. Huh, you think? Okay. I Googled it. Hmm? Um, so did you hear what he was saying? No, I didn't. Uh, so Phelps asked if she was wearing a necklace. He said, I didn't notice. Uh, you're getting the wrong idea if you think I wasn't paying attention. Mm. But this seems like a doubt because we don't have any explicit uh, yeah. stuff against him. But... Also, he, why, it, why, why, like... They said that he he was always staring at her. You'd think he'd notice yeah. something like that. Because yeah. a lot of people did. Like, even people that weren't really interested in her. Yeah, like right. the bartender. 
Eve's exactly soul. how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Clementine. Uh, but not yeah, much. you're right. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after hours crowd. But I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. I've been to markets like this in in uh, deep south Arizona, by the way. Oh, really? They're just like this. It's very accurate portrayal. Although I don't know that they... No, wait, the one I went to... Well, one of the ones I went to was in a warehouse just like this. Oh, okay. I've been to markets like this, but they've always been for, like, not produce, but, like, fish. Uh, no, no. I've been to markets like this where they just hey, sell everything. Got time to yeah. stand around, copper. Uh, I don't. Findlay Park's a little bit like that. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. I had the best sandwich ever there. He was calling for a cab and then left. Used the phone for a cab. That's not wrong. He did That's say that. That's true. He, yeah. Yeah. The, the cab. The cab thing is definitely true because the phone was busted at the bar, so she went across the street to use yeah, the phone. Yeah. But here. look at his face. There's something else here. Yeah. Um. She arrived at midnight. Yeah. Something about that. You. Something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. I think. That seems like I a think truth the, I, to me. I feel like he might be. Um, being economical with the truth. Like, I think he's telling the truth about that, but I feel like there's something else here. Maybe. Ooh, this is tough. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna doubt. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Yeah, you she were right. like a nice Sweet. lady. Her husband went ape shit one day when he caught me talking to her. Ah, yeah. She had me back until last night. Sweet. Hmm. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but Where I couldn't get her. Where did go from here? I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up, and she got into that. Oh. Uh, that was my. That was me putting my feet on the ca or uh, on the bed. Wasn't I forgot. It? I forgot to uh, put the mouse down. Um. This seems true. She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer her to drive her. The car pulled up. She got into that. I don't doubt that. Look, look at his face. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. Nice. She seemed to know the guy. Perfect. Okay. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because. We're cops. I guess you can. <laughs> Court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> Jesus. Look at that door that they stuck a light on. Yeah. I know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lemons! Sure. Wow, that's a lot of alcohol. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. <laughs> Check through this stuff before we get back out there. You bet. Dun, dun, dun. Uh huh. Okay. So what are we hiding in oh, here? The box. Oh. This thing needs a combination. Oh, I was right. You were right. Oh, wow. Two, five, three. Whoops. I gotta keep getting those confused. Just don't know how to get Two. Oh. Weird. Two. I kind of wish it weren't this and it were more like a traditional briefcase. Yeah. There you go. Aha! There's everything. By the way, are those blood stains right there to the oh, right? Oh yeah, look at that. You're totally right. Um, their hands. <laughs> These all look like charms for that bracelet. Yes, they do. Didn't like the message, but they're all religious. Wait. Oh no, this is message. her necklace, not the bracelet. Oh yeah, you're right. Wives submit to your husbands as to the Lord. Oh, oh no, you're probably yeah. right. You are right. It was the bracelet. She didn't like the message for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ in the church's body, of which is the savior. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Wow. Understandable. 
You're definitely right about all that. Okay. But seriously, can so there's I'm some not... massive charms. Jeez. Yeah, they are. Not allowed to investigate the blood. That, ser that seriously looks like blood. Oh, that well. that is 100% blood. Okay. Oh dear. I'm a blood stains. I'm a carpet. Um. Uh oh. I can't. Oh, pomegranate juice! <laughs> it's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. What? I've seen it during the war. Oh. This fruit skull punk gets about ten seconds to explain it. He's already gone, I bet. Fucking arms off. Clem! Oh. Yeah, alright. Yeah, good luck with that, Clem. Up. Uh, getting in. Just shoot the tires while he's parked. These guys are terrible cops. <laughs> here we go. Oh, okay. Uh, no drive through the fruit market. Yeah. Jesus, please. Oh, Excuse me. Wow. I can't believe it. It's like you ran over his small toe. Please don't pull out. Thank you. Nice. That was a tight turn. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Uh. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is! Oh, no! That's fine. Uh, nobody needed right that new stand. Yeah. Don't do that. Thank you. Wow. Nice job missing that lady. Whoa! Nice turn. Thank nice. You. Oh, my God. Wow. This is some Tokyo oh. Drift. Oh, Whoa! my God! <laughs> I'll get you closer, bud. Freaking rip 1940 no! suspension. <laughs> Drift into it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do it, Rusty. Do it. Kill him, Rusty. Clean this asshole off the road. Okay, I can do that. Nice. I'll try to shoot out the tires. Wish me luck. I wish you luck. No, jeez. That guy's dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, he's busted. You ran him into a like a pedestrian. Yeah. <laughs> that dude's dead as heck. <laughs> it was him. Didn't ca it didn't count. At least you caught the guy. Good police work, Cole. <laughs> you killed the perp. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. With his smile. So their dialogue during the chase was. Seems weird he would leave a trail leading back to his own fruit market. Yeah. The poor woman can now rest in peace. Hmm. There I'll might be more of the case. I'll visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. The lads. <laughs> On your way. Those detective lads. He's gonna be drinking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I, that doesn't seem like like foreshadowing that he's gonna be a bad guy. That actually just seems time for comedy. Yeah. Bam, bam. Woo! Cool. Send him to the gas chamber, boys. <laughs> oh. Lads. Whoops! That was it? Oh, uh, yeah, wow. Straight up, he's dead. Death row. Alright. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this for this little session. Yeah. Tune in next time. We didn't even get through all the murder cases. We have a whole nother desk after this. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. Later. Later.